All right, all right, all right, y'all. The moment you've been waiting for is finally here. Welcome back to the 22nd episode of Super Boss Brothers, hosted live on GDQ Hotfix, where every other Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern, we're bringing you two fiercely skilled retro gaming veterans, pitting them against each other in a myriad of handpicked challenges, and we'll find out who is the Super Boss. But before we introduce these two new players and get a little bit into how the show works... Let's gloss over a couple of GDQ announcements that you at home should be aware of. Like, if you missed out on any GDQ Hot Fix shows, make sure to check out our archive of past runs and shows at youtube.com slash games done quick. Actually, if you're watching on YouTube, you can feel free to join us over at twitch.tv slash GDQ to check out our live shows starting most nights at 7 p.m. Eastern. We will be shifting times for some of our Hot Fix shows, but make sure to check gamesdonequick.com slash hotfix for more information. And uh, make sure to remember that Hotfix is funded in part thanks to your subscriptions and bits, so we would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. Our GDQ Sum of Best segments is now launched on YouTube. If you hadn't uh, looked at our tweet with this little like hype teaser that we have for it, make sure you go ahead and check that out. Um, <laughs> where it's a highlight channel with regular videos like our main channel, but with small highlight reels for all of our main events and hotfix on uh, yeah hotfix rotation shows. Uh, tomorrow, speaking of hotfix shows, is that's never happened before. The featuring Portal, and again starting at 7 p.m. Eastern. And now I am extremely proud to bring you a special Flame Fatales edition. We do have two glorious, two fierce competitors, two extremely skilled women gamers. But first, let me uh, bring in the hype man himself, Big John, to help us get into this episode. How are we doing, brother? You know, I'm I'm still reviewing the uh, notes on how to do this show. Uh, I feel yeah. like the last time we did this show, I think we were still trying to create the telephone and whatnot. So it's been a minute. So, but um, <laughs> hello, hello, look, stop hogging that candle string, hush. But um, yeah, we're back at it, and uh, again, we it is it is a ladies' night again. Hey, so uh. Of course, this is family friendly ladies night. None of that nasty stuff in here. But yes, I can't wait to see what's going to happen tonight. And if you are a first time viewer, this thing, you have literally 21 prior episodes to go catch yourself on, on this on this holiday weekend here in the U.S. here. So if you need something to do, you can watch all every single episode we've done. You know, but uh, I'm, I'm excited for this. I hope you're doing well, Brother Bobby. I am doing I'm doing extremely well. It's been it's been so long, but now we are back, especially with this special uh, Flame Fatales edition. Again, uh, just to clue the audience in on what we're going to be going through, we're going to be showcasing some retro games from the Flame Fatales event, charity event, uh, benefiting Malala Fun. Um, that was uh, held just a couple weeks ago or earlier in uh, in August, which was an extremely stacked games list, by the way, an extremely fun time. I, I enjoyed uh, the entire week, enjoyed my fair share of runs, loved, loved that Quickie Mountain, loved that Tetris effect. Again, if y'all wanted to catch up on that, youtube.com slash games done quick. But we get to see seven of those games here with uh, a little bit of a twist with seven unique game challenges and uh, our two competitors, right? Uh, yeah. Our two, our two competitors right before you tonight, Sabera Messia, E sky bills, our tale of the tape. Now, when I, when I, when I talk about, when I talk about veteran speed runs, these two women have an extremely uh, fleshed out palette uh, for 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 speed runs for you know uh i mean you, you have literal world record holders right here do you know that john yes that that speed run vita is strong between these two i can tell you that mm -hmm. and uh but the great thing is all of that speed run knowledge won't do a darn bit of good tonight because they're not gonna play games they have a clue at well they might have but they're not gonna be showcasing their expeditiousness but more so their lack of getting frustratedness the tea is shinism. Yes, that's today's word. That was, Frustration okay, that was, that was a cool back. That was a cool bounce back. What? I let you finish the sentence. 
I'm gonna clip that so I can know what I see it myself, actually. Uh, yes. but, I see that in the spelling bee, please. Oh my goodness. Well, you know. But yes, these two are gonna be duking it out tonight. And of course, as we always do, we talk about a little bit about their players because they have a little player profile that you all can see. Trading cards coming soon. So who wants to go first? Me or you? Hmm? Mm-hmm. You know what? Let me take my girl Sky Bills on the right here. No, she's <laughs> my girl. I knew her first. You probably did. Yeah, I did. But anyway, yes, you can go. One of my good friends, Sky Bills, right here. Well, they're, they're both my really good friends. But let's talk about Tale of the Tape. Uh, favorite game being Magic the Gathering. Sky Bills is an extremely, extremely adept competitive pro right right before your eyes um at magic the gathering um and, and actually that's a part of her main content for streams as well uh, you can definitely check her out on her channel to see how she she lays all of those cards down favorite food is tacos who does not like tacos see that's Much not like- that's not pacific enough what, what what do you mean like is it soft is it hard is it veggie tacos is like, it meat lovers tacos see see i feel i i feel like we, we we give like wings and burgers a pass but never tacos and never what kind of wings i mean what kind of wings like <laughs> like i mean you want steak wings or hot dog wings it's literally chicken no hot one's getting turkey wing? wings or yo let me get one of them duck wings no one's asking for those this. Okay, I mean, you make you make your point, and, and and perhaps when we uh when we uh have our little like exit and, and you know exit uh conversations, uh we can see what the favorite, what the optimal taco is, and the optimal taco. Please, yes, I agree. That, that, that peeve, sounds good. Yeah, the pet peeve opponents who declare victory before the game is over. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I I love this one. I love this one. You know, you know, being like a kind of like a you know, being kind of like into competitive esports like fighting games and all that stuff. You, you hear loads of it. You know, you get hit with that one combo. All right, man, that's GGs. I mean, that's GGs. I still have life on the board. We're still gonna do this. Opponents declared victory before the game is over. That is just, it's so arrogant, so pretentious. It almost sets up a scenario where you want to knock them down. So keep feeding the flame, says Sky Bills. Favorite game character, Oko in Magic the Gathering. Isn't Oko banned? I'm gonna... I know you're not asking me. Only card game I know is Uno <laughs> and, and Solitaire. It ain't got no players in there. I don't know. I remember a lot. I remember a lot. I remember a lot about, about Oko. Uh, being banned in Commander, I think. But you know, we'll, we'll get a lot of, little bit of that etymology. Um, you know, when we bring her up for some questions, I would love, would love to uh, prod the mind about MTG. Hmm. Now, now, who do we have for on the other side? You know what? I like the way you said her name. Can you say her name again? It, it was, it was so probably accident and whatnot. Saber. Yeah, Messia. see, my, see, if I tried to say that, I would have spit all over my microphone. I'm been a hot mess. So, you, you just need to roll your R's a little bit more, you know. <laughs> so, Sabel, <laughs> Sabel, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm not careful. All right. So, anyway, Sabel Masluria. Favorite game is uh, Terra Enigma. I just know that's a role playing game. I don't know what goes on in it. But I know she does, obviously, because it's her favorite game. What do you know about that game? It's 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 a uh, it's an action RPG. I think it's like in the same line of like uh, Soul Blazer and uh, a, and another game. I believe there. I think there are three of them. Ooh. Yeah. But uh, but it is extremely nice. Uh, probably one of the best RPGs to come out of its time. I think around like 1995. Um, oh, Soul, I can't Soul, that Soul Blazer. I I remember one of my you know uh, Illusion of Gaia. I think right. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, Soul Blazer, Terra Enigma, and the Illusion of Gaia. Those, those three. They're, they're all like connected, but they are such extremely great um, uh, RPGs. So, somebody has got that good taste. John, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed. So, um, follow up by the favorite food being fried chicken. See, there's no ambiguity as to what that is. You know exactly. There is no variant. For, well, I mean, I mean, is it Mama's fried chicken? Is it KFC? Is it 
that one store on the corner that has fried chicken in the gas station by someone named, you know, Jeremiah. Who knows? But it's fried chicken. Can you go around with fried chicken? You you absolutely cannot. Oh my god! And the good skin on the fried chicken. Oh, oh, oh take me now, Lord. <laughs> oh. Um, I was supposed to eat before we start, and I did not. So that might be on the menu tonight. Oh, hold on. All right. Uh, pet peeve: gatekeeping around game difficulty. Oh, man, these two pet peeves make you not want to play games. I tell you, I'm telling you. Stop gatekeeping. It's super annoying. No one, no one likes to invite that sort of discourse. No one willingly wants to engage in that discourse. It is a bad time for both parties. And it, it could be a bad time for the person just trying to enjoy their game. Let them enjoy their game. No, I'm sorry. You chose this mode and this is all you're going to experience, okay? Like, 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 just... just just, just let people play the games the way that they want to play it. Let them experience the grand stories and the grand uh, scheme of things in their own way, the most enjoyable way. Go ahead. Well, I'm sorry. You have to buy the DLC for the higher difficulty experience the rest of the game. Sorry. I'll spend the money. Mm -hmm. And favorite game character. Oh, my goodness. You know these. You know I don't know these players. Radia. Did I say that right? Yep. I, From I, Final I Fantasy IV. What is that? That is... That is... Is that NES? Do you, do you not... Do I not what you now? You know I don't know anything about Final Fantasy except that one guy looks like a dog on uh, Super Saiyan. What's his name? Cloud, whatever. <laughs> That's the only. <laughs> I don't know. That's seven. John. Uh, so so Rydia is a is a kind of like a summoner character in Final Fantasy IV. You actually uh, see her, you know, uh, develop actually a lot uh, throughout the story. Actually, one of the main you know protagonists, obviously. And uh, you actually see her throughout the uh, throughout the spinoff games, like after years and stuff too. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you all. Look, I am not well versed in the role of RPGs. Anyone that knows me knows if it's not Mario, Sonic, or Zelda, I probably don't know what it is. Mm. Except where's Waldo? But that's another story for another day. Yeah, I know. I know what we are versed in, though, and that's giving you the lowdown on how this show works. Seven unique games and their challenges. Three distinct rounds. Mmm. Distinction. <laughs> Were there a respective amount of points? John, help me out here. You're the one that usually does this. Yeah, I'm the one with the big old head here. I remember. Okay, so of course, yes. For those who are new and those who have forgotten, because it's been a while. Uh, again, seven games that players are going to play in tonight. Uh, these are games that they probably don't know too well. There might be, but if they're going to be equally matched, of course. And, of course, each of the games will award points for whoever completes the goal of that game quickest or makes the most progress in the allotted time. Our first round, our first game is worth one point each. After that, we double the points to two. And then, of course, that seventh game that we surely hope will decide the winner between these lovely ladies will be worth a whopping four points. Okay. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, throughout the show, one of those games a chat will pick. So that's right. This is also chat interaction. So you all get to mess up our players with your choice of what game. But, of course, nobody knows what games are being played tonight. Well, me and Bobby and the tech crew does. But other than that, mm. they won't know until the number is chosen. So um, are we all square? Do we all do both of us know what to do? Yeah, I, I know what to do. We got our cue cards, our teleprompter ready here and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so for those who don't know, in the first round, we don't pick it. We allow our lovely AI person, Bixby, courtesy of my lovely Samsung Note 10 Plus. And uh, Bixby will be picking the first game of the evening, one through seven. And let's hope it works today. But first, you know what? It's been a tough year. It's been a tough month. Let's have Bixby tell a joke first. Hey, Bixby. Never mind, I guess you don't want to tell a joke. Sorry. Hey, Bixby. Back to business. Tell me a joke. Oh, never mind. Teaching a deer to run is the best way to make a quick buck. Uh, <laughs> humor. Humor. <laughs> That's right. Teaching a deer to run is the best way to make a quick buck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Now, back to the show. Hey, Bixby. Give me a number between one and seven. <laughs> Running some quick calculations. Drum roll, please. Your number is two. Oh, gosh. Already, 
we're still getting over that that amazing quality content there prior to that. Oh, yeah. So Bixby has chosen the the game hidden behind that icon number two there. So we're going to reveal to you all right now exactly what that is. During that time, the players will get set up and uh, prepare for challenge number two, which is Ninja Garden. That is correct again for those folks uh, at home uh we are going to be featuring a lot of the retro games that you that was featured in flame fatales earlier last month so ninja gaiden obviously made the cut it is super mm. boss brothers material especially when they'll be starting from stage three <laughs> to stage five now, when I, when, now when, when I, was, while I was even playing this game, it took me an hour to get through stage two. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but I know I know these uh, these lady gamers will extremely uh, get this done within uh, fifteen minutes. Um, is, is this how we choose our games? If we struggle, then we know okay, it's perfect for the show. <laughs> No, not necessarily. Oh my goodness! I would, I would just say, if I were, if I were put in this situation, I would probably be, be, be the least winnerist. The least winnerist. I am so okay. So, like, here's the thing: I am so uh, not familiar with these types of games. Like NES era speed run games are my bane. Like, like that's not oh, wait, the era. Wait, wait. That's not the era that I was born in. Wait, like, like, you I should know. You run Castlevania 4. It is nothing but reverse yes. damage moves. This is what that game is. There's no difference. You jump and you damage moves backwards. I I, I, th I think I think the difference is that like one, it's 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 probably like as hard and as like optimized as you know each <sighs> other, but like there is so little margin for error within the Ninja Gaiden speed run because it's only like 10 minutes. Yeah, it, it is definitely on the the low time like, like, runs. Like, like, like I I I know from from playing uh, like you know playing and grinding Super Castlevania Four is that like you know you kind of get like some breaks you can kind of steal yourself for like the next uh, you know trick. Ninja Gaiden is like you're you're just going. Hey, no gatekeeping in this game. They're gonna throw the whole thing at you. You gonna be <laughs> what? <laughs> so no, no punches pulled. Like like like, but the cool and like the cool thing is um you could still be creative with how you like clear these levels and like because we're we're having them start from stage three uh if they game over they start from like you know stage that they you know cleared so if they are at stage four the game over they'll still be able to start from stage four one um so that's cool and they and we can take advantage of the, this whole like you know trial and error with like you know what works what sub weapon works so like you know like and, and again it's got to be stressed for the structure of boss brothers shows is that we want to put these two players in as unique as a situation as possible you know like you know so that so that we can be a little bit you know creative in how to tackle and complete this challenge so so it's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of thinking on your feet and a lot of adapting uh, to whatever challenge that that we, you know, present here, so Ninja Gaiden is definitely a good way to just like kick things off right off the bat. Yeah, that is definitely uh, throwing them in there. I mean, hey, this is point. Well, none of them are really easy to me, in my opinion. But I think I think ninety five percent of people who die in this game because they get knocked back into a bomber's pit. That, yeah. I, it's like. <laughs> and then they even flash the screen all, all you know, very, very seizure like almost when you game over. Like, oh yeah, you lost them all now, and back you go wherever. But uh, it's really good death music, I must say. I love a good, good song in game, and you know, oh the NES games. You all youngers just don't know how games used to be. Now you can buy oh. DLC to just instantly win the games. Oh, but as we get these two competitors ready for this challenge, one again, it's stressed that the first three games in this uh, in this round are only worth one point. So, you know, it's not a big deal if even if you you know uh, you know fall behind in po in points here because there are a lot more chances uh, to gain ahead in points here. So, uh, when do we speed run the trilogy? 
Uh, you, you mean for the SNES or you, you mean just like for NES? NES. You, said, you, you said trilogy. You said trilogy. Okay, all right. Just, I just needed to make sure that you wanted to play good games. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm down to I'm down to learn one through three anytime. Anytime. All right, tonight. I. Oh, by the way, this is a good time for me to plug a past event real quick. Yeah. An event I was at. If you did not see, if you take it back to Awesome Games Done Quick, Age of the Q 2015, where there was a Ninja Gaiden relay race. Go back and watch that. One of the best races you'll probably have seen Absolutely. on this channel. That race was amazing. Absolutely. All right. Both of our competitors are ready for challenge one and to kick off this uh this exciting uh episode of super boss brothers so i will take the liberties in counting us down from 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 go scary sounds it's not that scary Alrighty, and we start off by them getting beat with a stick. I, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, you either you either get the the, the the great sword or you get the wet noodle. It's Ninja Gaiden one. It's 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 you know it, it's definitely you, you get the hand that you're dealt with. But welcome to Ninja Gaiden one, y'all. This is the original controller thrower game. Nah, I'm kidding. But uh. But yeah, they're going to have to uh, pretty much adapt to what they got. Sabera is actually coasting through this. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's had a lot. She's had a lot of uh, experience with games like this before, especially on the indie side with the messenger, uh, getting in some getting some really uh, top times in linear and 8 bit. Uh, she actually uh, also grabbed this for uh, for I think a big 20 uh, a recent big 20 event that was going on so but like I like I was saying one mistake can actually prove to be quite fatal uh, in Ninja Gaiden so even still even if you do know the speedrun know-how you're gonna have to be pretty careful in this game yeah this is uh this is like you know back in NES days where mini jumps were concluded by some enemy ready to knock you backwards you know i'm looking at you almost every mega man nes game but it's just this is one of those things you get hit in the air and there's nothing you can do when you take damage you just have to wait until you land hopefully back on the ground and, and, and i bet i didn't even like wait until that boss landed to the ground in order to finish the job up to four one yeah Hey, Bobby, maybe you should have asked her to help you um, play this game. Hmm? Well, maybe not 4-1, definitely 3-1. <laughs> yeah. But uh, as we also see Sky just try to like brute force through and, and definitely does make it. 3-2 um, is a little bit longer, but honestly, that uh, if you could take advantage of like the, uh, the precision of like the jump slash, and also, birds can uh, help you with the uh, very Oh, oh Sabera. See, this oh, is what I mean. all, all, the, all the more time for uh, Sky to catch up here. I'm not worried. Yeah. Yeah, so much, this game, I mean, just keep, I mean, just like the speed runs, like if you're just moving forward, you always have to slash while you're moving. You know, kind of, you know, like Castlevania games, you know, you're whipping yep. flames and candles while your movement can't just stop because uh, you can see these enemies just continue to chase you nonstop until you basically outrun them or. Oh my goodness gracious. It, yeah, it, it is an absolute swarm if you just if you stay in one place for far too long. Like yeah. bats will fly, bullets will fly, and it will just not be a good time. Like Sabana actually has to be extremely careful to not die here or else she'll suffer a game over. Yep, we're down to zero. And of course, those who know nothing about Ninja Gaiden. Nice. You know, one thing we haven't talked about is, oh my goodness, the jumping off off ladders is just, <laughs> it is like a really weird mechanic. You've never played Ninja Gaiden 1, 2, or 3 on the NES. It's just, the jams though. 
Don't get Bobby Sands. You're going to take up an offering after this song, apparently. Such a, I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. We get jams in here. That's right. Coming soon, Beats by Bobby. You know, re the entire NES library soundtrack, so, uh... Oh, boy. Make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel, okay? There we go. So I better make it up to four. Ooh, this music, it's man. still on one life. Gonna have to be really careful. Also, Sky, one life! Oh! Oh, see, there's that radioactive screen game over. Which I thought was honestly pretty cool, honestly. But you don't want to see that right now, especially... Sabera, she is rolling on that solo life here. Yeah, Sky looking to get the <laughs> looking to get oh. betrayed by the own uh, Sky Fleet right here. Actually, you know what? It's NES games. Birds are in incredible jerks. Mm -hmm. yeah, just, yeah, she is nailing these movements, you know, the perfect Perfect attack on on the air on the enemies and landing. Oh, oh, Scott. oh no, the double back there. Oh. Yeah, that, oh man, look at those wall jumps here, back and forth. And that's still that's still extremely like tough to do on an NES controller if you're not well versed in it, you know. Yeah. Meanwhile, these these enemies. What the fuck? What the fuck? Look at this. What the fuck? What is going on with these air spins here? Looking like it takes a double dragon in here now. Special moves here. Oh, boy. oh my God! Sky had the exact same thing again. Well, excuse me. That was a nice. Bzz. Uh, excuse me. So, so, I mean, you know what the bzz is in this game, right? Yes, I watched enough arcs. The bzz. 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 <laughs> that's a really nice. Bzz. Right. Oh boy. Expertly displayed. Bzz. Yes. Yeah. So, so for those that don't know what uh, what that is, so the spin nimpo, uh, I'm just gonna put put in like you know ex ex explain this like I'm five. So you get this power up, and it costs five nimpo, five of your weapon points, and um, it hits for every it hits it, it the damage takes for every frame. So that completely shreds enemies, inclu I mean, including the bosses that you see right there. Oh boy, yeah, not even uh not even a chance here. Alright, and yeah, this this is gonna be the last uh, the last stage for Sabera. <laughs> and Sky just just trying to get over this hurdle. And, and like this is this is what I've been saying, like you know, uh You're just gonna like like really have to not be as one place at a single time or else those like that bird will start to descend on you you'll yeah. you'll oh come on noodle noodle oh my goodness this <laughs> this guy is not gonna let her pass it's it's, it's so oh, the John. Oh. Oh. yeah welcome to the experience of oh wow um I think anyone who's played this game for the first time knows what it's like to just be stuck on the part of the level that you just seem like you just can't get past. And mm -hmm. these birds are just, oh. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. From, yeah, from like me playing like OG Castlevania games, like getting hit with like, getting hit out of the air is never a good feeling. It is never a good feeling because you're not able to like control. You're not able to recover in the air. Like you, you just see yourself creating, kind of, kind of like that. Yeah, all those enemies, jeez. Hey, Birds level five. Are absolute jerks, except for the ones that give you ninpo, because they, I mean, they exist in this game. Ah, oh, there we go. Over one U turtle grabbing victory. Grabbing swag star. Sorry, that's why. Sorry. Yeah, we just get beyond the stage here. Oh my goodness. These jumps. Look at all oh, that bird was on his mm. way. You gotta be really careful not uh <laughs> oh. Oh. This guy is scaring me here. Oh. <laughs> wow. Alright, doing great, doing great. There we go. We're in auto mode now. Yeah. Oh, but the birds! 
Oh no. And the cat. We, we, Birds we, and cats. <laughs> Literally anything that has legs is a problem in this game here. Let's just put it that way. Who rolled on the Jumanji board? Where are all these animals coming from? And, and, and this is like kind of like older NES games, these kind of endless spawns at times, just yeah. non-stop. And it's so easy to just slide the golf screen and all of a sudden it's right back. It's just, it's ridiculous. And on side better side, back in five, three. Getting some really nice and well-timed uh, slashes, but, for, uh, but kind of flubs up a jump there, but yeah, definitely entered that other screen. So <clears throat> you'd be extremely all right there, unless you get knocked to your doom here. That's game over and you don't want to have to start all over again, but it looks like Sabera is back in it. Yeah, I kind of like this song too. Yes, yes, yes. And what is this creature? Uh, this creature is about, about dead. And that's gonna be time. That's gonna be time. Ten, uh, sub ten minutes for Savera <laughs> Messia. Oh. Thus gaining our first batch of points in the special Flame Fatales edition of Super Boss Brothers. This guy will definitely catch up. It is not over yet by a long shot because we got six more games to go, my friend. Yes, yes, yes. A yes. varying game, a varying game types too. Yeah, I'm looking at this list and as my grandma said, Lord have mercy, this is quite an array. So, but yeah, easy to catch up as we get ready to go into our second of our one point games here. So as I mentioned, for those who may missed it in round number two, um, we have, we did a random number competition, very, very heavily in-depth competition, you know, mm. blood, guts everywhere. But uh, we use that to determine who would be player one. Uh, player one will choose the game in this round, and I believe that Skybills won that competition. So we're going to get her into our little studio. Uh, uh oh, where is she at? I lost her. Oh, there that she is. Boo, I scared you. Sky. What's up? What is up? Is, never, is your well, patience? Is your patience up or is it down? No, my patience was very up. Uh, I used to speedrun Castlevania 3, so I definitely mm -hmm. was kind of familiar for what was going to happen. I had just was very unfamiliar with the game, the stage layouts. That's something where uh, repetition definitely helps there. It was fun. I tried again at some point. That means our mission has been accomplished. We made Sky in an uncomfortable arena, and we're going to continue that, hopefully. No, but we want you to do well. You can tie it up just on winning this game here. But uh, it is on you now, okay? Um, game number two has been chosen. So we have all the other options between one and seven. And whatever game you choose will be the game that you and your competitor will be duking out next. So what do you say? One, three, four, five, six, or seven? Hmm. Do, do I get to see the game or am I just picking a number here? See the game? What kind of shenanigans are you trying to pull here? You gotta uh, use your guts, You'll guy. see it when you choose it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's try seven. Are you sure? Well, not when you put it that way, no, but yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sure. <laughs> all right. All, all, all I'm going to say to you right now, Sky, is that I'm really glad you went with your gut. Ooh, what do we got? This, this is going to be an exciting... Well, well, well you, you folks will uh, be ready for that. We're going to kick you off down to the green room so you can be ready. And um, we're going to be uh, presenting the audience with uh, that game choice. So good luck, Sky. Oh, thank you. Yeah, good luck. All righty. So, um... Da -na -na -na. Oh, Bobby. What? I, I love these. Welcome back to the Pokemon League challenge, y'all. <laughs> That's right. These elite retro gaming veterans are going to go through the Elite Four featuring Frozen Flygon. Oh, Frozen the Flygon. Shout out to Court. Our challenge today, you have to go through all Elite Four and the champion in order to win. However... Mm. A, a, a little twist 
thrown into the challenge this time around as all Pokemon moves typing and move typing will be randomized. This is a randomizer event. So you're going uh-huh. to have to be, it's going to be a little bit of trial and error to uh, adequately get through the Elite Four and take on the champion. That sounds quite scary. So they choose a move that says, I don't know, shake. And it said it, it floods. Or I have no idea what the moves are, but that sounds, wait, all the moves, wait, now typing, what is the typing? You know, like 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 Pokemon typing, like Pikachu's an electric oh. Pokemon, but you can also have uh, you can also be you know use Iron Tail, but since this is randomizer, Iron Tail instead of spe- seeing being a a Steel type could be a Ghost type or a Normal oh type. So so you, it, yeah, and it's going to be a lot of trial and error <laughs> with these various Pokemon to see um how you can very adequately go through this and extremely quickly because um they're gonna have all battle animations turned on and uh they're gonna have to yeah and, and they're gonna have to kind of stay with what they got so uh now they they can rifle through their bags right now we we did give them like a, a random array of items and some and some cash and all that stuff however um with the team that we've given them it should be pretty nice to uh I, yeah. I mean, I thought you liked our competitors tonight. Yeah. This is something that you give people who you don't like. I, this isn't Kaizo. Okay, John. It may as well be. And there's like 7,000 Pokachus, and you got to figure out who's weak to what and what your move even is in the first place. Big. I'm just, John, this is only this is only generation three. This is Pokemon Leave Green. I don't know three from 10. I don't know what I'm. Uh, huh? Well, this is the time where I'm glad I'm the host. Put it that way. <laughs> yeah. look, look, we're all gonna have a blast. It's gonna be, it's gonna be so good. And, and, uh, and you're we'll, gonna we'll have every... two unfollowers. That's what you're gonna have. I, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all. This is going to be so good. I'll, I'll let everyone in the chat know like the the randomized stuff just so that we can uh you know just so that y'all can have a little bit of a semblance of what's going on <laughs> let me go look up you said this is what generation three i don't know generation three this is the, this is the remakes of the first two this is why it's not aqua blue it's leaf green aqua velvet and leaf what aqua- <laughs> generation three I'm literally looking at stuff because I don't know. Okay, what is red? Is there is there green and then leaf red. green, or is that the same thing? So, so green, red, and blue, Gen 1. Gold, silver, crystal, Gen 2. Then we have ruby, sapphire, emerald, and then the, the, the and then the Gen 1 remakes, fire, red, and leaf green for Gen 3. Okay, so there's a thing. We got colors, then we got crystals, then we got something else something somethings like, like soul silver heart gold something something omega ruby alpha sapphire something something so what's that, the next that, generation that, what is there left this it's like it's like naming mega man characters we got it okay instead of fireman we're gonna go heat man okay no more heat man let's go with flame man okay no more flame man let's go with burnt man or <laughs> burnt man <laughs> 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 we gotta go to dog on the stars to figure out what we can do next. So singed man, singed <laughs> inferno man. Oh. Oh. I don't know. All right. Well, well. Uh, <laughs> so I. So yeah. Uh, this is randomizer, and uh, we're just giving uh, both of our competitors just like a couple minutes to get their. Pokemon in order, get their teams and their items all set up. Uh, both of them are, are are pretty much ready. And you, if you can see on Sky side, we have we do have the nice roster, including Frozen the Flygon, uh, Velocity. We do have you know a whole array of uh, GDQ memes and all that. And if you're look if you're looking at our tail of the tape for the summaries we're looking through a whole bunch of these uh types to go through the like, you know, 
they're not completely left in the dark. I think if, if they're a little bit, um, if they can just do a little bit of like, you know, trial and error, the moves are strong enough to kind of like fell pretty much any foe with uh, the right weakness. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh I, no, we I, got the names. I just saw the names. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cute, cute honk. Oh my goodness. Get the honks in the chat. <laughs> That's right. All right. Yeah, and uh, and our competitors will let us know when they're ready, and we're we're just about to start. Wow. Interesting. Let's see, how much time did I give them for this uh this event? I think like half an hour, yeah. Yep, 30 minutes. Oh, it's gonna be so fantastic. Man, so what they see is not even what it is. It's just wow. Man, oh man. We are we are seeing some 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 slotting, <laughs> some arrangement. I'm going to think uh, both our players are somewhat well versed in the world of Pokemon. All right, we've gotten the word that both of our competitors are ready. So, John, if you want to do the honors. I'm ready. Let's calm down from the number 11 and 11 and 10, 9, 8, and 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Go, 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 go. All right, so into the Pokemon League you go. You have the ability to, you know, use the Pokemon Center. You can go to the Mart in order to, you know, grab your stuff, your full restores, your repels, your max revives, even. And uh, what what I've uh, what I've actually done, um, and the reason why this uh, kind of moves so quickly is that we, we removed like all the text from all the preliminary text from the game because mm -hmm. nothing matters but but the battling and so they gotta figure they gotta figure out what the moves are first of all and what the types so, of so the they, they kind of have an idea of like what their they have an idea of what their moves are they don't really have much of idea of their pokemon's their opponent Pokemon's move typing and their opponent Pokemon's type itself. Okay. So it's gonna be a lot of switching around, just trying to see like, you know, what works here. Wow, they're going to take notes on this one. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh oh, Octillery with the Octazooka. Oh no. Ooh. He filtering through that bag. Oh no, Sabera! Wow, that's all. Q Honk is down. <laughs> Q Honk is down. There goes the band. I'm so sorry. Their inventory is pretty stacked, I must say. Yeah. A random assortment, <laughs> but a, but a very generous random yeah, assortment. Just a couple. All right, frozen with the oil quake, but not very effective. This artillery is a tank. Wow. Ooh. But Sky Bills has almost got that down. But oh, the full restore! Oh! <laughs> One step forward, the 18 troll. back. Wow. The troll. <laughs> Sabera is drawn first blood artillery down. Jeez. <laughs> That's just rude. That is incredibly rude. Out comes Gadevoir now. The future site, which is, you know, you can get a, uh, a free attack in pretty much.
Uh oh. Gonna see what what's about this earthquake, but it doesn't affect the the, the gods of law. Oh no. Oh, Everything no has indeed. failed. Oh. Wow. Uh oh. Yeah, it's just, just filtering through that bag. Just trying to see what what's going on. There's a lot of there's a lot of nifty uh, hold items in there in, in there as well. It could potentially power up moves of the Pokemon. But the thing is, you like well, so so. This, uh, Thirty minutes for this is I, I want to say like a pretty generous uh, estimate. However, so like it kind of gives them some time, like you know, some leeway to kind of like filter through. If you want to like you know give your Pokemon some items, you can go like, ahead and do that. But you kind of got to keep in mind like through all that that you have to uh, defeat the champion at the end. So uh, if you spend too much time trying to like, you know, route things out, uh, you'll probably be left in the dust. We'll see. Um, Sabera is asleep right now. Uh, GDQ spin is asleep. So it's like, it's, it's the GDQ spin emote, but like it's not moving. <laughs> so it's, it's like, it's like if, I, if I ever did GDQ spin on mobile. <laughs> wow. The call outs right there to a certain <laughs> Bleed purple organization. Uh, I would just like I would just like to experience GDQ spin in full efficacy. Thank you. No, you will enjoy frame one only. Thank you very much. Oh my god, that vial. Vial playing with the pedal dance. Oh, critical hit. Hmm. This is a lot of uh, a lot of swapping here. Ooh. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. But I see his phone to see yet again. See a lot of a lot of people in the chat are are, 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 are are trying to trying to figure out you know what exactly is randomized. Uh, I think I did have a little bit of a, a log here. Uh, Pokemon based stats are randomized. Pokemon evolutions are randomized. Pokemon types are randomized. Start, you know, starter Pokemon were randomized, but we're we're way past that point. <laughs> um, everyone's moves, move sets, and move typing are randomized. So so a stab might not uh you know carry through. Uh, the trainer Pokemon, the Elite Four Pokemon, obviously <laughs> randomized. Wild Pokemon uh, that we're never gonna see at this point, randomized. Let's see. A GQ honk mm. is down. Oh. Gardevoir being being a bit uh. This looks uh, awful. <laughs> being a bit uh, gratuitous with the with the future sight though. It takes future sight definitely takes a turn, uh, or sort of to uh to get set up. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh no. Oh, very. Uh, we got we got some nice ditto usage from Sabera now with her own Gardevoir. But the struggle is real. <laughs> yeah. What? It, it, it's it's kind of effective. It was, like, it was kind of effective. Yeah. But we got that poison on Skybills' side, and that Gardevoir is down, and now the Gold Duck. I'm looking for the gold. Oh, the beak. Earthquake. Yeah, Earthquake, an extremely uh, powerful move, especially especially in this uh, randomizer. So uh, if you weren't looking at Frozen's typing, um, mm. The Flygon is a fighting type. Now it's that it's coincidental that the Earthquake is also a fighting type move. So not only not only are you getting the 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 uh, the raw power of the Earthquake, but you're also getting what's called as uh, same type attack bonus, also known as stab. So that so that Earthquake is extremely 
uh, useful in the arsenal for the Flygon. Like, wow, yeah, like, like that's actually pretty, pretty great. And um, is this also a little bit of first spoiler in the chat? All, uh, potential Pokemon in the roster that could also do stab. Uh, GDQ Honk's Ice Beam is a grass type attack. And GDQ Honk is also a grass type. Uh, GD and, <laughs> and GDQ Spin, our Hitmontop, is a psychic type and they have Brick Break which is also randomized to be a psychic type. Hmm. So that Gardevoir is almost down. Wing is asleep, but... Oh, the full rest. That's, that's not right. <laughs> that's just not right. Oh, no. I mean, is there is there like a, a chance of that happening normally or, I mean... Chetza, sorry, Chetza, what's happening? I mean, just, I mean, like, the, the, the Pokemon they're, they're, they're battling, like, doing that full restore, like, hmm. do they have a certain quantity of those, or it's just pure randomness? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure about the quantity, but I, I think each, each one of them has, has at least one, right? I'm actually not sure. I should probably look that up. That is just... Ugh. All right, I'm, I'm getting some uh, some advice that uh, at least full, two full restores for the Elite Four. So that, that's actually quite painful that uh, that Lorelai was actually able to bring the, that Pokemon from the absolute brink like that. Looking pretty slick, but also what everyone on Sabera's side is uh, afflicted right now, and which is not good. Um, gonna use the blue flute on the Charizard to wake that person up, wake that Pokemon up. GDQ wing left, GDQ wing right in the chat. <laughs> Oh, it's a hypnosis again. Ooh. This is looking a lot like Ash's Charizard. This is. Meanwhile, on the other side, Skybill's dealing with that Swift, and as you know, Swift never misses. Gardevoir is extremely lulling GDQ Wing to sleep on Sabeta's side. Wake up. Why come? <laughs> just, just end the nap there. Uh, so I better find the max revive and GDQ Honk is back. Ooh, sand starts with that sand tomb, but yeah, it's not gonna be very effective. Now again, GDQ spin the Hitmon top with that brick break. Gonna be doing a little bit of damage thanks to that stab. Swift never misses. And Sabetta, it, it, it's nap time over on Sabetta's side. It really is, oh goodness. Like what a loop. See, we, 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 got, we got flutes and able to, uh, able to wake them up. Do have some full restores there as well. I'm gonna just filtering through, just trying to see what she can do here. Cause this, this Gardevoir wall is uh, a bit of a fearsome foe to overcome. Meanwhile, Sandslash back up, back up to tip top shape. As the brick break Ooh. misses and the sandstorm mm. rages. 
Now, now again, we did give them a, a, a pretty gratuitous amount of uh, restorative items and things like that. See Max Elixir's there on Sabeta's side. So, uh, so as long as, you know, they keep in mind of those, uh, they'll be able to overcome here. Trying to bring in Frozen with the... Oh, ooh, that was poisoned a little bit earlier on. But looks like we got a toxic, a nice status ailment on that Gardevoir. Oh, ooh, but Frozen is down on Sky's side. Mm. Oh, that's actually really nice. The intimidate from uh, Hip on top cuts that uh, cuts that attack extremely nicely. Ooh, with a fire blast, that Gardevoir is so tanky. Here's, oh. Oh, wow. Hmm. Oh, I feel like we. Oh, I feel like we could have uh, taken a little bit of a uh, peek at Gardevoir's type, and once we saw, um, Sabata use that Ditto to transform into that Gardevoir. Oh, well, this thing just go away. <laughs> oh, oh. In oh, time, the nickel in time. The sand slash is down. The Gardevoir is almost down. <laughs> But Sky and, uh, has Sky. gotten through. Laura Lai got one down. That was one out of what? Five total? One of one of five. Oh. Oh my goodness, the struggle is real. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be that's, that's, that's gonna be one for uh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we got so we got full restores, we got max elixirs. We got we, we got basic Pokemon stores in our pockets here. Stores, you got the whole every franchise known to man on these things. <laughs> I'm trying to think how long it would take to actually have an inventory like this at all, if even possible. Uh, I mean, if, if you if you grind hard enough. You too can max out the save like I did. <laughs> Bobby spent time and did this all throughout the week, grinding all these numbers. I did. See? Such a hard worker. <laughs> with, 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 with those five and only five Pokemon. You know what? Let's, let's, let's not worry about those details. <laughs> Bruno time! <laughs> wow. It is Bruno time! <laughs> One other thing that uh, that's gonna be a, a pretty big wall is that you see the level discrepancies and the level gaps between these two. Like these are these are nearly refight elite fours. Well, we got frozen with that earthquake. What's gonna happen? Ooh, that's a super effective. That's gonna put some oh, damage wow. on. Yeah, that is right. Wow. That is right. Flygon with the hands. Well, that was easy. And we got a nice stab bonus. However, it's not very effective against the Glalie. Oh no, and Glalie sets that weather hazard hail. It's like Sandstorm, but it benefits ice Pokemon, obviously. Pelted by hail. But oh, this since this is randomizer, this Glalie isn't the ice type. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't an ice type, the the uh, earthquake, which is a fighting type, would be a super effective. It's not. But Glalie knows Blizzard. Meanwhile, Sabera, it's 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 even mm. more nap time. The bear between the sleeping and the poison is just. Ugh. Look at have Well, four of them are asleep right now. Wow. It looks. It looks like it's back to frozen. 
It's back to Frozen. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 Buffeted by the hail. Oh. 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 Hanging oh. on by a thread. Let's go, Frozen. Let's oh. go, Frozen. On both sides. Frozen. Yeah. Double refills. Let's get Frozen back to take top shape. Mm -mm. I'm for this. Wow, that was something. Oh, wow. Oh, that, very, very, very nice. Oh, Sabera is going to have to go up against that sand slash that wall. And remember, Swift never misses. Oh, she has got to wake these people back up. Poor Pokemon. There we go, just laying on the fire blast. Hmm. There we go. Uh, Sabena bringing out GDQ wing, trapped in that sand tomb, but that Charizard's pretty beefy to begin with. That's pretty fine. That's just fine. Ooh, very nice fly maneuver. But still getting buffeted by that sand tomb. See, see, getting hit with sand tomb and sandstorm, man, sand slash. Nice. This Gara of the desert. Oh, and Slowbro is using oh. amnesia. It's, it's really, it's really great that uh, Skybill has applied that poison there, because. Do you let Slowbro stack up in some defenses? He becomes a tough nut to crack. However, with that night, with that nice uh, toxic, that bad poison, uh, he's looking to go down. Un unless, unless he's gonna get saved by a full restore, but it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the poison Using the stall tactic of toxic protect. Wow. Oh, hey, there goes GDQ Lamp from last Pokemon League event. Everyone say hi, GDQ Lamp. Uh oh. Which was an electric, which was an, uh, an elected buzz. Ooh, and, and, and Frozen's mm. got that super effective on that fire blast, but. Well, we're gonna be seeing some some big damage from this. Oh! Slip. Holy! Holy! Oh, wow. Not a chance there. Yeah. Oh. Now we got the hip on top back, back in it. Sabera whittling the sand slash down with fire spin, down to one final Pokemon, almost having caught up to Sky Bills. Will this vile plume be one final wall? Mm. Oh, we get the Mega Drain. Oh, it's not very effective against that Charizard, though, which is great. Let's see what else we can do here. Meanwhile, that Electabuzz is proving to be quite the nuisance to Sky Bills. Well, we got we, we got to top up our Pokemon. Can GDQ spin take? Oh yeah! Oh, oh definitely! Oh, wow. definitely! <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna fly. That's not gonna fly with GDQ Honk. GDQ Honk is a grass and bug type. Let us go. Oh, we are seeing quite the stare down here. But also one final Pokemon for for uh for Sabera in fight one. It's been quite the randomizer challenge so far. Each finding their own creative ways to deal with uh these Elite Four members. Oh, and a critical Whoa. hit! Such a great stroke of luck from Sky Bills. And her frozen fly gone. Wow. 
Oh, Ur Ursa Rain came to throw down though. Flygon having none of it. Skybell's just going for the to the toxic stall maneuvers. Oh wow. I know Samira is happy to get beyond that. Absolutely. That is, oh. Absolutely. And she's got full heals, full restores. Everything that she needs to get, every, get everyone back to. Uh... But meanwhile, on Sky's side, dealing with a very, very toxic bear. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Man. Just messing with a very, very toxic, thrashy bear. <laughs> we must... oh, oh my! And Bruno with the full restore. Here we go. I mean, are we gonna re? Are, are we gonna go for the same game plan? Reapply. Reapply. Yeah. This is what you gotta do to toxic bears. <laughs> oh. Tell you, this Ursa Ring got hands. Bruno. <laughs> All right, looks like we're gonna go for a change of tactics here. Go velocity. Mm. Oh no! Oh 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 oh! <laughs> well, someone's gone bankrupt. Oh. Sheesh. <laughs> a knockout is real. I, I don't like this bit. Like it, it, but like it, that's the thing. You you never know because it, it's randomizer. Like, <laughs> what did I just get hit by? The delete button apparently. Jeez. <laughs> all right, all right. B back to the frozen fly gun. No, this this might be the tiebreaker. I know this this poison is just barely keeping him with anything. Damn it! That that, 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 that that that's a thing though. Like like it's a very slow seep, right? Like yeah, you're gonna have to be uh, pretty deliberate in that tactic if you're gonna survive. Oh, that GDQ spin is down though. Now the cool thing that is that like thrash barely affects the flygon at all. So while this Ooh. earth ring is confused, we can't confuse and wow. toxic. We need to get this out of here. Get, get him out of here. This should be it. It has to be it. Get, get him out of here. He's gonna hurt himself in his confusion. He's gonna he's, he's gonna lock his Twitter account. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> the bear takes itself out. Sky Bills just deliberately with that with that solid game plan disposing of the toxic bear. Oh lordy. But me but meanwhile, Sabera's taking control of the bear herself with the slash with the thrash, and that slash is actually doing in some pretty nice work. <gasps> this is a family <laughs> fight over here. Seeing doubles. Mm -hmm. I just have to say, the hair on the shoulders on those bears is quite magnificent. The the perfect little triple rectangles. It's cute. Very cute bear. Yo, Torko! Torko looks have you, have you ever mean. watched the Pokemon anime? Where, 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 where they were where they were the where they dubbed the, the cries of the Pokemon? Torko! Excuse Darko. me? Have you never seen that? It is not the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. That's my Someone had so, so a Torko and it sounded it like that. 
I will have to go look at him now. Hmm. Wow. Well, we're on Agatha, who's supposed to be uh, the ghost type, but she has a Torkoal. And uh, you kind of see a whole, like a wide variety of like typing and randomized BS. Like, like, like this is great. Oh Frozen with that earthquake, that same type of tag bonus. Not putting in a single dent in the Torkoal. Like this is where things get so real. But again, less than two minutes on the clock. Very valiantly fought by both competitors. Again, finding their own creative ways of going about things. I feel like, like the Pokemon League challenge is always fun to spectate, fun to call. Congrats to Frozen for that upgrade. Sorry, that, that level up. And this is all, this is this is still uh, round one. This, this is, is still round one. <laughs> Jeez, we got about a minute left in this, and Sky is looking to tie this up. The struggle. We are. I feel kind of bad. This they're they're working really hard in this in this show today. So early on, just. But, uh, we, we call these we call these the warm ups. This and, is and, the uh, warm up. And, <laughs> I would just withdraw from the competition if this is the warm up. I'm sorry. Like, well, you, thanks, Bobby and John, you, you, but um, I need to go wash my clothes. You don't, you don't like fun, John. <laughs> you, you don't, you don't like the prospect of randomizers. You don't, you, you don't, you don't like, you don't like the idea of of trial and error and and, and, and trying to find different ways through it. Let's go, let's go get a lot of ticket tests and ask our competitors. Was this fun? And let's see. It, it was ex it's extremely fun to watch extremely fun to call and they what i had a fun playing through when i when i when i tested this mm -hmm. and that is time that is time so sky bills was had both uh both will and Bru sorry both lower lie and bruno defeated so that puts her with one on the board and that ties it up. It's been like the third Boss Brothers in a row where we get an immediate one to one. And that's good to me because that bear won't go on down over there on Sabir. That bear is strong. <laughs> it's one very strong bear. Yes. <laughs> Big old but circle we... on his chest. But uh, ho hopefully you folks had fun watching that. <laughs> With randomizer, you never know what to expect. And uh, it's really great to see to see them make you know, some really nice headway into that. But we do have even more content to go through, even more games from the Flame Fatales event benefiting Malala Fund uh, to showcase here. Yeah, these are all games that you would have seen throughout that week. Um, and uh, so these are games that you... I mean, you could literally guess the game tonight. I mean, you'd have a, a one in like 200 chance or something, but I mean, but uh, you never know. But uh, we're going to keep it going with the third game, which is also worth one point. This is the last game before we take our first break. And then during the break, you all in chat will have a chance to choose the next game. Yes. Um. But before we get to that, let's go get Sabera, who is enjoying... Sabera, you know the, uh, the, the 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 odds of you having Sabera and dealing with a bear in this game is just that, amazing to me. That, that's not that's that's not even remotely. You know, I you know what I dig it. I dig it. <laughs> can, can we get some fan art of Sabera in the chat? Oh my uh, god! <laughs> just just in a, a really a really nice comfy kigu, comfy bear kigu. <laughs> You know, it's, it's it's actually funny that you mentioned that because one of my friends the other day actually said that I should get uh um one of the what the hell is it um uh Rilakuma uh Kigurumi because mm -hmm. Sabera. Mm -hmm. So oh, that's, uh, uh... so it's it's not just you, John. It's it's it goes around. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Let's see if you can bear to do another game. Oh yeah, we're gonna. Start. Oh. <laughs> Oh, with jokes like these, how could I not? <laughs> you know. So, um, 
this is our third game. This is also the last of our one point games. And of course, it's tied right now. So you, somebody's going to delete going to our first break. But we have four games left to choose from. We have options. I'm, I can't count either. We have five <laughs> options. <there. laughs> um, yeah, the math major who can't count to seven. We've got one, three, four, five, and six. Okay. One, three, four, five, and six are your five remaining options. Which one would you like to choose? Go with your gut. Uh, well, I think I'm gonna go with three. We'll keep it prime. Are you sure Ooh. about that? I am 100 percent sure. Ooh, take notes, you all, future competitors. Be a certain of your choice. It Ooh. may be a bad choice, but at least you're certain on it. Dang it! <laughs> if I'm gonna all make right. a bad choice, it would better be at a one point game. All righty. Well, we're going to send you off to your isolation room, and you can all get right. set up for this next game. And good luck to you. Thank you very much. Good luck, lady. Ready. So, continuing on with our next game, and game three is Challenge Three, which is which is. Oh, I thought, I thought you were gonna say it. Kirby's, Kirby's Dreamland. Yes, Kirbysha. I call it Kirbysha. I don't know why I'm just silly like that, but oh, the beginning of Kirby right here. Kirby's Dreamland, the Game Boy classic. Jump, float, puff your way through. This is going to be as get as far as you can uh, challenge. So they're going to start from the beginning and just try to race their way as far as they possibly can um, before the time is up. And we're going to be giving them 15 minutes to do so. Oh, this game. You all, this was before Kirby was even pink. Kirby was white. He wasn't even pink yet. I, I, I feel like... I feel like... Kirby, I, I I feel like that that was for like the Game Boy Color. I feel because like, even on the box art, he wasn't pink. He oh, was right. he was literally opaque, not opaque, but uh, uh, Legend says he got pink. Legend says he got pink because he ate everything and he ended up with indigestion and took a lot of Pepto and they just left him pink. Mm -hmm. That's what the legend says. Well, that was my excuse when I was a kid. They said he just had a lot of Pepto Bismol. And turned pink. Kirby ate all the Pepto Bismol in the world, and that's why they turned pink. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, the U.S. box art had him had him white. I think it was a different color there, and eventually he kept him pink. But yeah, this is throwback here. This is this is my generation. All right, this well, is, well, this well, is Gen well, Zero we, right here. That absolutely, thing. Gen Zero. Huh? Did, did uh, you have like the original Game Boy Pocket? Like, the you... original Game Boy Pocket, they didn't have no sub name. It was just called the Game Boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You youngest. Oh, my God. Not, not, not <laughs> you. 22. I mean, you the know first what Game I Boy meant. was the Game Boy Pocket. The, the oh, OG my God. Duke, what a... The OG the Duke. The OG Game Boy was a like size. Eight batteries to run. Uh. No, dear. That's the Game Gear. The original Game Boy required only four batteries, but it was thick. You know, if you wanted that, like if you wanted that battle station add-on, it was like so much more batteries. I remember. Yes, the handy boy. So you can have the fold-out speakers, the magnifying lens, the the light, the 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 uh, analog <laughs> stick on the D pad. Oh man, look at the little. <laughs> that was a true battle station as a kid. Man, your friends were hating you if you had that. All right, shall we? <laughs> We are ready to blaze through Kirby's Dreamland. Again, this is a anything goes, get as far as possible challenge. And uh, John, you want to count us off or? Yes, Kirby. All right, let's go. Kirby's Dreamland back in the 1990s. Wow, this game is almost 30 years old. Sweet mercy. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Counting down from 10. Uh, 10 and 9. 8. Seven, six, five, four. Why does so many Kirby's on the screen? Three, two, one, and go. Why are there like Don Kirby's on that screen? <laughs> Where's my jam? Oh, get the jam. I'm dead. All right. So anyway. <laughs> All right. Welcome 
Welcome to the the, the first of Kirby, uh, as envisioned by the by the the legend himself, Masahiro Sakurai. Yes. And um, it's as you see it, side side scrolling action platformer. The Kir the Kirby can do a lot of things, like like float, inhale. Toss uh, projectiles back at him again. I'm explaining like like you know people are fine because maybe you haven't heard of Kirby before, but Kirby is cool. All right. Kirby is cool. Yeah, I feel like most people play Kirby. You know, this is before we had like all the power up and, and abilities. You yeah, know, yeah, we... yeah, this, yeah, yeah, way before we had the copy abilities. There are some like items that you can pick up that that grant Kirby like you know some uh, temporary stuff, mm -hmm. but it's just, it's gonna be mostly what you can what you can. Spit up, inhale and spit up, pretty much. Is it required to say Kirby sucks? I, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's accurate. Yes. Just want to make sure that was allowed. Okay. All right, and it's looking like they're, they're pretty on par. You know, Sabena was uh, a little bit, uh, low on health, but picked up that maximum tomato, so she's pretty topped up. And here we go. First, uh, first encounter. That's with right. Wispy. Poor Wispy. Always beat to death with apples. Poor, poor tree. It can't be a Kirby game if we don't start our first ball, says Wispy. Or with Wispy, should I say. Uh, oh, look at that. All right. So better has disposed. Well, not disposed, but made must be really sad. The Aww. tree is crying. There we go. And Skybell's just kind of catching up expeditiously. Mm-hmm. Really close here. Oh, baby. Mic time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how that sounds if you have your headphones on on your Game Boy? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> These poor little kids. I, I, I love the mic power up in uh, Kirby Superstar, too. So good. Yeah. There's two. <laughs> All right, welcome to Castle Low Low Low, everybody. Low Low Low. You can get this game on the Low 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 uh, if you have a 3DS. It's uh, it's still in the Virtual Console, I think. Ooh. Oh. All right, very nice. Very nice platform by both. So far, so good. Popped. Almost uh, surrounded a little bit there. Oh, it looks like Sky is uh, pulling a little bit ahead. After this encounter, now I'm gonna have to. Uh, Yep, I mean you you know you know what the deal is with Kirby now. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Gotta watch out for the recovery on that long drop as well. But one more will seal the deal. There. Oh got a little ball spikes here. Play some pros, just take the damage and just hit. I better onto uh onto mini boss two. Guy, this guy quickly catching up here. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> Just wobbling away. <laughs> Look at the way he's moving. Oh, it's so, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, look at there. Got a double on that one there. Very, very nice by Savannah. Babushka. Oh, man. But Sky is right on Sabera's heels here. <laughs> it's. It's such a narrow uh, margin. Oh no, that canceled out the, both of the projectiles. Yeah. Gotta oh, watch no. out a little bit, especially since uh, Gerby's on one HP left. Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh, the nice low jump there. I mm. see you, Scott. Ooh, I love that. Got the tech now. That's right. Right. Oh, didn't see it coming at all. Man, 
right in the face. That's right. Hit that note. Ah, Kirby's got it all. They got the voice. Ooh. They got the Good. elasticity. The determination. Of course, in Kirby, we obviously do not like spikes in Kirby. Spikes in Kirby are. Oh. the jam look at that little walker curve it's so cool like like how is this game how, how are how are games this good this like like that far back in the time you know because they knew how to make <laughs> games back then I, like none of it absolute like 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 suck it i himself wanted this to be like a really easy to pick a platformer very very uh very accessible very easy to pick up and like it, I, it, I, I i think part of that is all is also within that experience is like just enjoying it along the way like not just like you know getting from point a to point b but like these very nice locales this great music like 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 you you want to you want to keep playing yeah you're, you're involved in this it is it's simple to know what to do. You got a slamming soundtrack on top of it, and it's just it's, it was it was perfect for the Game Boy, you know, long enough to enjoy, but not so long that you run the battery life. Yeah. Yes, I bet. Uh, with the clear sky is super super close behind. Yeah, we are. I mean, who knows? Maybe Sabera will clear the game. I mean. Like I said, this game is not extremely long by any means. Yeah, yeah, yeah this game isn't really that long. You know. Uh, Sky, ooh, Sky, one health. What? Kirby! Right back at ya. Kirby has exploded. You ever, you ever, you ever, you ever see that show? What? Uh, the, the Kirby show on the, I think it did like four kids or, or. I have I seen one of them on YouTube actually. Mm. I don't know how I end up in that world you do, but I have. Oh, so better only on one HP. You gotta be really careful. All the spikes. The Kato! You gotta watch out for the Kato! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh. Cloud. <laughs> and thanks to our developer for literally stopping all the action so you can actually see what is about to kill you. So this one that like do a Kirby marathon now. It's just it's so They're all really good game. games. Oh, you all should play them if you have it. I don't know. Oh. And and honestly, and, and again, these uh these uh th these games that we're featuring are, you know, were from the uh Flame Fatales uh week long event uh last month. So mm -hmm. if you and, and and all of those all of those runs are up on our YouTube. So youtube.com slash games done quick. Make sure if you're not already subscribed to subscribe, but definitely check out the playlist and 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 and, and just see. Let me tell you, there are a whole bunch there are a whole bunch of uh really, really you know great games on there. And uh again, so one of my favorites. Um one of my favorites, Tetris Effect, love that. You know, Kirby's Dream Land, as you're seeing right now. There was Final Fantasy IV on there, which is really good. Even classics like Super Metroid. Mm-hmm. Yep, a whole week of watching to catch up with there. As, as the boss from Bashi is here. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's what, that's, what, that's what most people are going to associate with. They now. sure that's do. So, oh, my Lord. <laughs> like, what, what is, what is Krako? Oh, the Bashi ball! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Much, much easier in this game, that's for sure. So. Oh, boy, that... 
Mm. Oh, I knew that helped her. All right, we got 15. Yeah, sorry, yeah, we got uh, five minutes left out of the 15 allotted. Yeah. yeah watch out for those. I'm gonna get that help. Ooh. But yeah, this is this is honestly really close there. I mean, Sky is keeping right on her heels here. Even I'm, I'm saying. Minutes in, this is really close here. Oh. Of course, you see, just dying can obviously put you back a little bit, but mm -hmm. hey, who knows that we got that spicy curry again. I will admit to have dying on those gaps where I inhaled the block and sank <laughs> instead of shooting out and <laughs> very embarrassing. And now you'd think a game that you just can fly the entire time would be so easy, but... Mm -hmm. Well, who needs Cracko? Double Crackos, but hey. Super Cracko. Oh, all right. That's going to be some nickel and diming for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, Sky's got that down. Oh, yeah, and just to uh, let you all know, for those of you that know, um, our players are playing games that they do not run. They do not speed run them. As, as Brother Bobby says, this is the most speedrun adjacent show you'll probably see on our channel. These are pre putting players in games that they don't play regularly, if at all. Mm. So they are learning what to do, sometimes for the first time ever in their entire lives. So yeah, that's what and, we got and, going and, and, uh, and then, then let's talk about these, uh, these, um, these sort of like, you know, speedrunning accomplishments and achievements, because like, uh, these two women have an extraordinarily large palette for speed runs. Again, you, you saw uh, Sky Bills with uh, Forbidden Memories uh, at, at Flame Fatales. Uh, she's also really great at Castlevania 3, even dabbled in, in some uh, Super Mario All-Stars way back when, but really established a, you know, a whole, through a whole bunch of popular retro games. Uh, on Sabera's side, uh, if you saw her incredible record of Lodas War, d and Wonder Labyrinth run, uh, she's actually one of the top runners for any percent right now in third place. And uh, her run is extreme was extremely great to show off. Re uh, Deed Lit is an extremely great game, super bite sized, kind of like this even. Um, so I definitely recommend you check that out. She's also really really bomb at Axiom Verge and, and the Messenger, like like we just uh, you know discussed. So and as, and as you can see, even though they did run a game at Flame Fatales, obviously that's not going to be on the roster because <laughs> that, that would be an extremely unfair advantage. But let's let's have them go at it with uh, Kirby or Pokemon Randomizer, you know? Uh, and of course, as you can see, uh, Sabera, she is on to her refights here on that. The chat was acknowledging that amazing diddy 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 thing. Mm. And I love that. Yeah, I wonder if, we, if we'll ever, if we'll get to see a semblance of DDD uh, before the time is up. Let's... Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, you got three more refights. I don't necessarily think you can get through them in, in the span of a minute. Yeah. Especially if you have a, you know, little a little segments before then. But, Sabana had Ooh. kept an extremely uh, great lead throughout it all. Actually, I think this might be a speedrun project for like, like I, I, I want I want to see like, like I, I think Kirby's Dreamland is such a great speedrun too. It is. Yeah. This is a game I actually tried to learn myself in, in the past. Actually, the keyword try, but it's really I like short games like this. It's like the perfect length, I think. But uh, yeah. It looks like Sabera is going to have the edge here just by a couple mm. of uh, sub areas here in the fifth world. However, it, as stated in Super mm -hmm. Boss Brothers Compendium Rulebook Section 9C, <laughs> Article 18, since, uh, they are, are, since they are on the final stage, mm -hmm. we're going we're gonna to see this to its very end. This is essentially like, like we do this for Mega Man games. We do this for every other type of like stage progression game. But since mm -hmm. they, are, they are technically in the same stage, we are entering an overtime. Yes, right. Don't worry. If you don't know the rule set, you all, we'll, we'll send you out a copy. 
Eventually. Within the next 99 years. So we're, we're going to see a, a, a race to the finish. And let, let's see if uh, if uh, somebody can get through this final DDD challenge in time. Or could DDD be this extraordinary wall? We'll yep. see. The yep. sky is, again, not that far behind. Yeah, so we only got one more stage plus DDD and two for Sky. So this is going to be pretty close. As you can see, Sky is just blazing through these refights too. Like, you know, yeah. she already knows what the deal is, and she's and she's pretty uh, healthy on life as well. So, yeah, she had to stress down for this fight. Boom! Oh, body! Only Lola one was down. La 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 is down. <laughs> so, yeah. Two bosses left. The one there for Saber before we get to oh, the Kang. Fine. Oh, we gotta watch out that health though. It's still anybody's game. This guy's got a nice health advantage. No! Oh! Oh, oh my goodness. What? You're kidding me. One away? One HP away? Alright, well. Can this be the wonder? Yeah. Maybe it's a bear should just take a death real quick just to get the health back. But who knows? Ooh. What do I know? Uh oh, okay, can this, this right in Okomo here? You know? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Bad it. I think she's just gonna go oh, for it. No! Oh no! No! Someone Why saw the read. Thing every single time. Why does Bob? Shut up, Bobby. Shut well, up, she's Bobby. Call her to take a death, but. Shut up, Bobby. King DD read her well. Never sky. Will the undisputed <laughs> champion of the world. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Meanwhile, well. Sky just cleaning up here. Just on, I think the last one or second to the last one. I, I think this is the last one. Yep, this is the last one for the same ball. So, if can hold on, we'll be all right. But that help bar, King is, man, that bar is. Whole width of the screen up. Also. Pretty huge. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that mouth is amazing. <laughs> oh, DD. Oh, mad. the dodge. Ooh, wow. Bless Sakurai for this. Like, 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 seriously, this is such an iconic moment. Like, like. I never, I didn't grow up with this as a kid, but imagine if I like, if, imagine if, I, I imagine being in a position of uh, someone who like loves Kirby's Dreamland, like, like was like the childhood favorite and all. And then like 25 plus years later, this same scenario would be realized in like Ooh. 3D uh, uh, with, with a whole bunch of cameo cast of characters in Super oh, yeah. Smash Brothers Ultimate. Like, like, like I'm Evolution just- Evolution is real. Mm-hmm. I say to people who play Smash, like you can't really appreciate the players as much until you played the games where they came from. That's like the good stuff I would say. But I tell you what, Sabera's gotta be really careful here with one health. Absolutely. Oh. And, and, and Sky Bill's doubly slow because uh, she's got a lot more HP to work uh, to work down. Yeah. <laughs> gotta get those but stars. Again, but again, this is the sudden death y'all y'all were clamoring for. We got, we, we got to, will the title change hands, basically? Is, oh, this is so close now. <laughs> One extra hit that Sky can take. Oh, no! Oh, no, Saber! Ray, just, hold, Ray, hold oh. me. I'm so scared. Just I'm barely so scared. touched Kirby. Oh. <laughs> that is a break. That's a, and this is going to get Scott the first lead of the of the day on this game here. But she also is low on health, down to just two. Ooh, Ooh. Good shot there. Two two HP is better than one HP. It is that, in that, any that day. Security. You gotta watch out to not get any 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 aerial swipes from this DDD. 
Oh my goodness. We did we did see DDD sniper Sabera a little bit. Oh god, the cloak the health is so close on the boss actually. Five to four. Yeah, yeah Sabera definitely uh definitely caught up. The sky needs yep. to get Oh my goodness, I need three more hits here. Three to four, what's it gonna be? Why is so Kirby this exciting? So I bet I've stayed a little bit close to DDD. Oh, it's, it's two. The so I is four. Oh my goodness, Sky, can she hold on? Oh. Oh, now it's a two. But it's two to one. one. Oh, it's down to the wire. Rick, hold me. This is a oh. oh no. no. Oh no. Oh no, Sabera. One bar each is ditto. Oh, same life, same health, same health everywhere. With the RNG! The no! RNG! Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, it's a Barrett King back. How did. What an extremely hype event! Oh my Just god. Within we... seconds! She had a death, came back, the remnants of that fight, and. Wow. <laughs> wow. What? What a match. That was, that was something. That. GG's to both of these ladies. I mean, who would have thought a game made 29 years would have such a hype moment here in the year 2021? <laughs> Labor Day week. Oh, my, my, my. What a damn good set. Yeah, that was that was like really good there. Um, Sabera, hard earned W right there. Absolutely, and and this was only round one, John. I know those are little dried up one point games. <laughs> we we still got over I half of the competition to go. Right. <laughs> you know? Can we make wow. it even more competitive from here? Oh, and absolutely, because it, it just got super competitive with these last two games. Let me tell you, we have four. We have four more games from the Flame Fatales games list to go, and we're going to be taking a quick break. But during that break, you in the chat and the live audience get to choose between uh, games one, four, five, and six. So during that break, make sure to vote for uh, my favorite number is five. Uh, make sure to vote for five. Don't go for what John wants. About, if you go what Bobby says, you're wrong. <laughs> Actually, Come five on. is okay, but one is better. Do we do we have any fivers in the chat? Do we have one any is far better? If you love me, you'll choose one. <laughs> listen, listen. If you love us you both, you'll choose neither of our numbers. I. Uh, uh, that's that's perfectly fine. All right. Anyway, anyways, we have more Super Bros Sisters action coming at you in just a few moments. We're gonna take a quick break, but make sure you come on back for the beginning of round two. Don't go away. We'll see you soon. And welcome back to the special. Flame Fatales edition of Super Boss Brothers hosted live on GDQ Hotfix. If you're viewing this in the live segment, welcome back, everybody. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure to catch us next time because you are missing all the hype live. And we would love to invite you into our home for Friday night game shows every Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. John, we have had such a great closing to the round one and uh, round two is just going to get even better with this chat choice. Yeah, if you all just joined the stream live, you all missed it. Mm, mm -mm, for shame with what you just missed. But you can got you got the vibe, as Bobby did say, you can watch us on YouTube and see all the cool stuff. But we continue with our audience selection round, okay? You all in chat voted throughout the break on what game you want to choose. And obviously, you don't love me, but you love yourself some Bobby. Mm hmm so, um, we're going to get ready and get up. You all chose game at number five, whatever's in behind that five. So, our player's going to be given that game to get set up to play some do, Lynx do, 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 do. Deluxe. Yes, um. Deluxe. Yes, man. We throw, the throwbacks are really there on these, uh, on these Game Boy and Game Boy, uh, 
Well, I guess this, I mean, this is a Game Boy game, you know, this is Game Boy Color version. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, taking it back here. Yeah, yeah, and again, if you if uh, a lot of these or all of these games are based on games that were showcased at Flame Fatales 2021, benefiting Model F Fund. And um, if you hadn't checked out uh, Astronomus's Link's Awakening DX run, make sure you check that out because it is absolutely phenomenal, as well as all the other runs on there. Absolutely exciting. But these challenges, or sorry, this challenge right now, uh, Pitts Savera versus Sky Bills in a, well, in a escape challenge. You must clear the Tail Cave Dungeon and escape in order to win. This game, I love this game. This game is amazing, and 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 such great music as well. Like, ab- oh, it's just I I am okay. guilty as a kid. Well, not a kid. That was like eighty years ago. But I am guilty of literally listening to the MIDI version of the overall theme on this song on this game on loop. Mm. I just love how they you know you know you're the music person too. You know how they add that extra little extra little section into the overall thing compared to say Zelda one. And Oh, I love it so much. I, it, I'm it, a music it, nerd. And I love this theme song. Oh, it's, it's so good. I, I love, I love, I love the woods theme as well. Love the, I love a lot of the dungeon and uh, just everything just blends together in its own, uh, like so great in this game. It's so great. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Um, you get one dungeon, you get one, you know, one boss, and, and that's done. Are we but starting them at the dungeon? Yeah, yeah, we're starting them at the dungeon. All right. Yeah, okay. you 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 would you would you you would have had to have done a little bit of uh you know hunting down for the actual key to this dungeon, but it's it's just wide open for them to explore. Oh no no no! Amazing cutscene, grabbing your sword and having a little chit chat. None of that. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad. Oh yeah, don't forget, go play the go play the remake of this game. You have it as well. It's pretty cool, I must say. Oh yeah, Link, uh, Link's Awakening for the Switch. Also, with its uh, nice um, array of swag, speedrun strats is yes oh. a, a really a really fresh way to. I'm really tempted to pick that one up as a speed game, man. Maybe the glitches one, but I just really like the design of it. I really do. I think I think they're all like relatively. Oh, you mean for the Switch or for this one? For the Switch. Yeah, Link's Awakening 2019 uh, is, is is pretty nice, and I think they're like you know around like like they range from like an hour to like an hour and a half. Like mm-hmm. glitches is like more like like an hour forty things like that. Um. Oh, hey, Teach. Teach is uh, he's literally just got the uh, just got the verified top time for for eighty percent glitchless for one hour thirty eight minutes and forty two seconds. All right. Yeah. There you go. Running those numbers. Yeah, I know Teach and uh and Samu they were they were passing that record back a whole lot when this game first came mm. out. Just back and forth almost multiple times a day. Yeah, yeah, I see that seven with a one forty five there as well. Yeah. yeah, a lot of familiar faces on this Link's Awakening board. Really, really popular category when it when it uh, released, and still fun to play today. Yeah, there you go, there you go, Bobby. That's why I get you running a Zelda game. <laughs> you just said you love the music, and also, how could you turn it down? I, I think I think I want to. Uh, I would stick to the retro though. Like Link's Awakening DX is a fine speed run as well yeah. like, like all, all i i actually have a have a hankering for like picking up a handheld zelda speed run sometime soon because like the handheld games are just so great oh what about minish cap man minish cap oh i have this love for minish cap it's just yeah minish cap is just it minish cap is probably my favorite handheld zeta uh, zeta zelda game it was that, that, really that that's the it. one still by capcom right yeah, that's yeah the little you know the you get the little link and the mm. it's so cool. I love Minish Cap. Yeah, yeah, I I love I love the Capcom handheld uh, Zeldas like so much. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe uh, Phantom Hourglass. Are you DS lovers? 
Oh, touch screen Zelda. <laughs> Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the what spirit tracks dragging oh uh, yeah well let's see let's we see we that. got we got a little bit of a uh a, a technical difficulties it's all right we got gdq tech on it and uh make sure you folks are extremely comfy and hype for this next game the beginning of round two for our super boss brothers and uh it was an extremely tight uh round one and I cannot wait to, I cannot wait to get round two popping off. Yeah, and don't forget in this round, every all the games are worth two points now. So Scott can flip flop and just one single win here. Yes, Spirit Tracks was was actually pretty cool. The first time I played it, I was playing the game kind of slow, but uh, mm. yeah. I mean, you know, this does have to ha have something. We got Spirit Tracks, we got a train, we had, you know, Wind Waker with boats, and maybe we'll just pull a final. I don't know, maybe a, well, I don't want to spoil a movie here, but maybe we're going to outer space. <laughs> uh, everything left, actually. Yeah, that's a good put, question to post in the chat, though. What is your what is your favorite Legend of Zelda game, whether it be 2D, 3D, handheld, Switch, which is basically a hybrid? Uh, like, like, what's your favorite Zelda? And remember, and, Zelda 2 is always wrong. Whoa, hot take. <laughs> I take. I agree. Zelda Two is know. hard. <laughs> Just because it's hard doesn't mean that it's that it isn't good, John. Come on. I love the speed runs, but playing it casually as a kid, you have no idea. It's like, like just made me eat vegetables instead of playing this game. Mm. Zelda Two is so hard casually. But oh boy, why see someone say Breath of the Wild Two? Excuse me. Yeah, you forgot the CDI series, Bobby. Those amazing gems. The the what series? The CDI series of the, games. The, mm, yes, yes. I, yes. Anyone want to play Zelda's Adventure? Yes. Yes. Somewhere Gruntmeister is just yelling in happiness right now. As someone who ran one of these games during uh, the recent uh, Summer Games Done Quick. Zelda City Eyes wrong. You don't understand what you're missing out on. Yeah. You know, there are three Zelda games on the CDI, so so if you just can't you wanna run the trilogy? <laughs> Please don't make me choke on my ear. <laughs> you know. If there's any CDI game I'm gonna run, it's gonna be Hotel Mario. I already told y'all that. Yeah, so that's going to be my next CDI game I learned. Hotel Mario. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hell yeah. All right, looks Dude. like both of our competitors are still, or are actually ready. And then we're, we're looking to uh, get this uh, challenge popping off. <laughs> oh, sorry. But. I saw when Chad someone said Zelda CDI Relay Race. I'm like, can we find three people to actually know, <laughs> know all the games? There you can. Or be the change that you want to see. Feel free to pick it up yourself. Okay, then. Ignoring Bobby right now. <clears throat> oh, man. All toasters toast toast. What? All toasters toast toast. Mm. Dude, that's, that, that's that Hotel Mario lore. All right, fixed and ready, fixed and ready. All right. We are live and we are living. And we are ready to undertake the tail dungeon. John, you want to help us count us off? All right, so let's count down in Hyrulean numbers, shall we? So let's go from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, oh my God, this song, 4, Five, three, two, <laughs> one, zero. I'm so sorry. Can it just stay in the old world forever so I can hear that song? 
I know. Like the first time you pick up the sword off the beach, it's so. Oh like, it's my so god! Dramatic. That intro. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! You know what? <laughs> it's the only time you hear that. Mm-hmm. You know what? We're not even talking about what they're doing, but nevertheless, I'm. I'm, I'm oh. <laughs> You don't understand you all how good that song is. All right, anyway, into dungeon number one, and you all know how Zelda dungeons are. We gotta find our way through, finding keys, watching out for mm. mole dorms and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, and uh, of course, Sky in that infamous room where we have to match all of the playing card enemies to the same one. And magic. Yeah, yeah, very, very kind of very simple uh, sort of like puzzles here. You know, very small obstructions. Like, like what, what's, what's gonna be the sort of thing is, uh, you know, just making sure that the moves that you make are, you know, 100% uh, uh, de deliberate. Like, like you don't wanna like dawdle around too much. We, we do have 15 minutes on the clock. Mm -hmm. And of course, who can forget good old side scrolling? Link here. Oh, it's some of the oh, coolest yeah. things I thought in the world. You know? Of course, we can't quite get that yet. Oh, oh, wow. That is not good. The Wombo that Combo. Oh, oh, no. You 2D Zelda's know that problem. Get hit, fall, lose additional damage, and. <sighs> Yeah, no with, with, with only you. three hearts to your arsenal, you gotta be, you know, you gotta be a, a, a bit more, a bit aware. A bit aware. Yes. Because uh, you're gonna lose that heart anyway. Always nice to see that Link to the Past carried on the same tradition. Anytime you fall, you always lose a full heart, no matter what your, your defense status is. So thoughtful of them. Ooh. Oh, nice, nice boop. Ooh. You like that boop? The boop? All right, looking to be a little bit on par. Take two here. Oh, shout out to the Goombas. Yes, why are there Goombas in a Link in a Zelda game? There we go, on, on the way to grab the rock's feather. Now now we can ju <gasps> jump in a, in a Zelda, John. It's like a sin, but it's so good. <laughs> it's, so, it's so real. <laughs> Oh my goodness, do you, I mean, do, think about games like OT. Do you know how easy it would be if you could just forward jump? How can Link only jump backwards, but he can't jump forward, huh? Well, Except when he's like rolling or something over side, an edge. Side to side even. Uh. There we go, using that rock's feather. Just uh, get topped up on that life. Rock's feather needs more love. Like seriously. Oh, don't you love it? The nightmare key. Who needs a boss key? We got the nightmare key. Uh, it was so like it's so <laughs> uh I don't know, menacing. It, it, it's 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 more impactful to say than big boss, big boss key, you know? Yes. Yes. You get well yeah, like some game, you got the big key. That sounds so boring. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. oh. Yumpo yumpo. By the way, when the boss dies, that sound. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sounds like I'm trying to start up my old 1995 Ford Taurus. <laughs> uh, yo, yo, here it comes. Here it comes. Come on, Sky. Let's hear it. We're going to hear it nice and good. Oh, oh no, not that sound! No. <laughs> oh no. And we and we got we got the nightmare, and that is so aggressive. That boss oh is my incredibly God. Samara, aggressive. No! Oh, oh Moldorm. Ooh, hoo, hoo, and they oh, but at least we got the portal there. Mm -mm. You know, but ugh. Man, Moldorm. See, see, like I said, a very short thing, but so good. Down the All right, there we go. Oh, taking some damage here. This guy's about to catch up. 
Yeah. Ooh. Oh, these jumps. There it is. Start that car up. <laughs> Gets that heart. Grabs that loot, and that's going to be time for Sabera. Well, it wasn't that simple. Wow. Wow. Clearing in that tail cave at a at a 523. Mm-hmm. And again, Sky not wasn't that far behind either. Like, this is going to be an extreme... It, like, if this pat last pass uh, round one was of any indication, this is going to be quite a series for round two as well. Oh, GG's yeah. to both competitors. And uh, can't wait to see. We got three games left, y'all. Three games left here. And, of course, that also uh, also a three-point difference right now, the lead that advantage that Sabera has. But mm. uh, Scott Fields has a chance to make that lower because, uh, again, another two-point game. And Scott in this fifth game has the honor of choosing um, which game she wants to play next, one, four, six. So let's do a little drag and drop action to join us. Uh, hello, Miss Skybills. Hi, that was my first time ever playing Link's Awakening. I have never seen the game. I've only played Zelda 1, so. What? Really? Seriously, yeah. That and Ninja Gaiden, I had both never touched before tonight. Now you all know. It, it looked like in in uh, Link's in in that last game, like like you had like a like a pathing going on. Like it, it looked it looked extremely deliberate, and really a couple only just a couple of uh, rooms behind that last boss. So extremely well done there. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. We well, should have had her playing Zelda One. Then she would have been like, "Oh, no problem." Then Zelda One, yeah. the part of Flames and Tells. Like, we got to keep it a theme here. <laughs> We should have done a uh, Zelda one level nine. I would have been down for that. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm I'm just jotting you know, these down you, for future episodes. You, yeah, because you know she runs Zelda one randomizer, so it, I'm I'm mm -hmm. terrified of Zelda one. I mean, oh, not as much as Zelda two, but I'm still scared of it. But mm. what you should not be scared of, Sky Bills, is choosing the next game. Here we have options one, four, and six remaining. We got to get you some more points to catch up. There's a very here. You know, yeah. So, uh, what do you think? Number one, number four, number six. Last time choices? you went with your gut, you came into some uh, pretty nice points. So, uh, what do we make got sure here? You, yeah, make sure you got a good gut. Then I'm gonna try six. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> the last time you asked me that, I got Pokemon, <laughs> which I had played before, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right, number oh six is our choice. So we're gonna let you get set up and uh, wish you good luck because you need these points, my dear. Get these points here. All right, you got it. Thank you. All righty. All right, so uh, number six is chosen, and uh, I'm going <laughs> to... I hadn't seen the screenshot. <laughs> Bobby. Yes, John? <laughs> Look, let me tell you what. I saw the game name on the list, and I had no idea what it was. I didn't look up to see what it was, and now that I see what it is... Mm -hmm. Explain to the help me, please, Bobby. So this is called well, well, well. Again, I'm, I'm going to explain like if I Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon for the Super Nintendo. This Wait. this is th this game is absolutely amazing. Uh, it is it is it, the, developed and published by Bandai. It was, you know very, the very very official pieces of software here. Um, wow! The, the the streets of rage of Sailor Moon, honestly. Is you, is you, this you get, what? Go ahead, no, go ahead, go ahead. I'll ask a question in a minute. No, no, this this is just a a really nice SNES brawler. Like you you, you pick your different you, you pick different Sailor Scouts and uh, and and there's even a uh, uh, a co op mode in here as well. I mean, like you know, it's 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 brawlers. Uh -huh. So uh, you know, each each of the Sailor Scouts have they're they're called Sailor Scouts. Uh, have you know have different abilities? We can just kind of like you know whatever you pick characters in Streets of Rage like Axel and you know it's etc. I'm I'm looking up words here. I don't know what. Would you say it was called? What is the bis? Yeah, that word. It's it's it's. <laughs> is it family friendly? If I break it yeah. down, 
Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it's my Jojo mil- Senshi Sailor Moon R. Yes. Oh, it says beautiful girl. Oh. So yeah, this you, is, so- you can choose any of the available Sailor Scouts that you want. So is this like something that, that's common in the fighting game community here? No, this is this isn't this isn't the fighting game. The, the, this is this is a straight like you know like Streets of Rage ish. Oh, you know, okay. Those, those sort of like you. Final Fight ish clones. Yeah, that, that, that's what I meant by brawler. My bad. Okay. Well, I, I, that's my fault. I'm like, well, there should have been two health bars in that screenshot, not just one. So. There's a two player co op mode where you can uh, you know t- you know take on these. Uh, these these fearsome foes. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, you you get you get yeah, you basically get the droid army on you. I can't wait to see and hear this one. But Sailor yeah, but yeah, scouts. Mm. Sailor scouts. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to educate myself on the world of Sailor Moon. I've only heard Did of like the show. Oh look, my lord! This, look, this, this, look. This, Look, I was Early in Germany here. Was such I a was good in time. Germany. We got everything like eight years late. Okay. You know, mm. if the PX didn't carry up, we couldn't have it, you know. Well, I don't know if you have... that generation, all we cared about was like starter jackets. That's all we cared about. Mm. So oh well, my. Look at that hair. It, this is it, this is so extravagant. And and, and again, if, if y'all want to look at the uh the flame fatales run by Air Angel. Make sure you check that out. YouTube.com slash games done quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are giving we are giving them a finite amount of time in order to uh, get as far as possible. We want to see who's got hands, you know? Wow. Well, John, is it is it uh is it your time turn for counting down or is it mine? <laughs> um uh you can count, yeah, because I miss I can't count down from eight. Oh yeah, that's down, right. Yeah. That's right. Uh, th- we had that debacle. Yeah. So as uh, as he as he relearns uh, arithmetic, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, <laughs> go ahead and start counting down from ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Wap wap! Oh, got the shore you can. Oh my! Okay. The rising upper. So who who was each character they're playing as? Uh, who was who? Oh, I'm sorry. They, were a little they bit have louder. names. Do they have names here? Of course they. Of course they do. Uh, okay. So wh- whether we're going on um, the original adaptation to this adaptation. Um, they, you know, they either go by, you know, like different names, however. Um, which one would you like, John? Wait, what are their names? What do I, what oh, do well, I choose well, between? I, I guess, I guess, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll go by the sailor, or we'll go by the sailor names. What are the sailor names? You got Sailor Moon on the, on the, on the right. Okay. And who is on the left? You got Sailor Jupiter on the left. So we got Moon and Jupiter. Yeah, they're they're usually named after like you know uh, like you know uh, moons and all that stuff. Or Celestial sorry, uh, bodies. So they're like Sailor Sun. There's there's Moon, there's Mars, there's Saturn, there's Jupiter, there's Venus, Mercury, Neptune. So why do we have all planets and then the Moon out of nowhere? I mean, that, that, that's the main one, and, and the one, cl- the mo- one most down to earth, though not really in the down in, to in earth. Adaptation. You say? So there's no sailor earth. <laughs> Sa- sailor Galaxia appears in the final season. There's a lot All of right. sailors. You All know right. what? I'll do my own personal research here, and I'll just watch the action here. We we we, we got the we got the little one Chibiusa. I, I, I don't is I think is she playable in this uh in this adaptation production? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
we, we have our magical um, genius voice in our ears, you know, like the commentators giving us all that hidden information. Yeah. So. so we don't look so unknowledgeable. This is quite the song what you, here. What do you what are you thinking about these droids? They? The, 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 these are these are extremely. Uh... You know what they remind me of? Hmm. They remind me of what happened to Knuckles when he was redesigned in Sonic Boom with extremely long legs. Oh, that uh... <laughs> very very lengthy legs. Did he have lengthy? You, you mean Sonic? I mean, Sonic Knuckles, a, a... Knuckles, Knuckles. When Knuckles was redesigned for Sonic Boom, Knuckles had very, very long legs. Yeah, I, 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 I could have remembered, or I, I thought I remembered him as like super stocky. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Legs for days, as they say. But uh, these are, what, what is these, are these golden ladies here? These are, these are like the, uh, the sort of like, like, putty monsters from like power rangers is there are there any power rangers references in this game here i mean not, not, not like really really no uh the droids were made by using uh this this kind of like evil black crystal source and uh th th that's basically like the mob type enemies The yeah. door say pain? It, it just says pain. <laughs> this door is pain. Oh, these things have like little spikes on their on their kneecaps. Yeah, for for for. You know, don't let them knee you. Knee you or elbow you or <laughs> shoulder you. Yeah, the, 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 these were the, these are like the, the sort of like stock enemies. Like there are three different like kind of like uh, the strengths of those droids. Wow, wow, wow! Well, I love this. Are these health items on the ground here. These random pieces of food. Mm. I'm hungry, so you know I see food. And I'm hungry right now. Wow, wow, wow! So they have? Do they have special moves here? Yeah, they have. They have some moves, and you you, you saw Skybill's uh, like demonstrating a little bit of it uh, like earlier on as we started this challenge, um, and it's it's kind of like the same deal of uh, if, if if you get that you know very powerful attack, um, it, it, it's a definite get off me move, uh, but it comes with some repercussions as well. well. They are really close. I mean, they're just almost dead even right here. I mean, they are basically. Yeah, I, I kind of like this looping that uh, that Sky was doing, but uh, unfortunately, got knocked a little bit off screen. Oh, but she's right back in. Oh, oh that's wow! Real by Savannah, though. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. oh, so sad. Uh, that, that, that's typical classic Usagi. Yo, Sabana, with really nice depth movement. Oh, well, that was... Uh, Bobby, what does that say? Don't worry about it. It's just tallying up your scores and all that. Uh, you know, how well you did throughout the level. But I need to know these things. No, you don't. All right, so we get the whole family now. <laughs> No, I don't. <laughs> Wait, well, when you were a kid playing beat em up games, did, did, did you did you glare over the finer details? Me playing a beat em up game, I laugh in your general direction. Ooh. Oh, well, that was interesting. That, that Sailor Jupiter throw does a lot. That is a very big enemy person. Oh, actually, they're kind of short compared to uh, the Sailor. Yeah, just using like, a little bit of that special get off me move, but uh, takes a little bit of your HP away. All right, and this guy's down to this uh, level as well. Just tallying up the scores here. <laughs> These See creatures are just Usa. like, just like spin dashing all over the screen or something, man.
Excuse me? Does that cost any uh, health when they do that? We're trying to notice that. Ooh. Yeah, so if you, if you if you look at the, uh, the sort of like slots on the top of their on top of the screen, you can show like the uses for the sort of uh, sort of attacks. Oh, as, as you see from uh, Skybill's yeah. side as well. Oh, into that oh, throw! Wow, that grab. Baby, you gotta be careful. Wow, wow, wow. I did not think on Labor Day weekend I'd be watching a Sailor Moon race. That was not See on my that. schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, very nice throw. Just try not to get sworn by those enemies. Skybell's lo lo lost her uh, last uh, last special attack there. So no more AOE wipes. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Jupiter with the, with the old jump kick combo. I, I, I see I see a fighting game player when I when I when I see it. The jump in heavy kick combo. Uh oh. Is there a hidden talent? That we're not aware of when my players here. Wow, the, the beatdown is real. These throws are real. And this music, the beats are real. Yeah. This <laughs> dude just slide it. Yo, get up and fight me. <laughs> yeah, yes. Oh no, a water level. No, I hope that's not a problem. Right, and Sky not that not that far behind either. Just gotta get through these uh couple more mobs. Yeah. And this is a uh this is a Super Nintendo game, right? Yep, Super Nintendo. Yeah, I wasn't Super Famicom, I don't really know. Well, yeah, it's Super Famicom because it, yeah, yeah. it's never officially made its way over here. Hey, we're moving here. Wow, the game is impatient here. Where are you supposed to go? Like, you're, you're waiting for the Not raft here. here. Nope, you're here. You're here until. Yeah, good old barge level. Good gracious. <laughs> that speed was ridiculous. Oh, there we go. The, the, the classic. Class to go into the stage hazard. Drop, kick him into the water. That's how I beat all my enemies in Streets of Rage oh, 4. No! Oh, oh! oh! God, man, that just looks so violent. Hey, the Sailor, Sailor Scouts got down. They threw hands. Look at this. On bodies too. Every every 4 p.m. on Toonami. Every weekday back in the day. That that was that was my childhood. You got a do little dose of Sailor Moon. Got a little dose of uh, of Dragon Ball, and that was that was my weekday afternoon. Wow. The good old days. The good old days. All right, so Bannerwolf is, is going to have to watch, a, well, be a little bit careful. She's, she's a little bit low on lives. And this stage hazard can definitely uh, hurt as well as help. So don't get knocked into the swamp below. Meanwhile, Sky do it, you know, kind of getting the, the picture with it extremely early on. Indeed. Oh, goodness. You know, this music is so upbeat considering they're sitting there fighting each other. I mean, it's usually a good time when they do so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very, very nice. Uh, uh, 
I think you would call that a hell wheel throw. Oh, that jump Ooh. kick is on point. Like, look at that. Sky's just disposing left and right. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of shuffling in my chair. I'm not gonna lie, like this music. Yo, never see me bobbing my head right now to the jams. I've been doing it all day, honestly. Oh, uh oh. Oh. What? Uh oh, what? A no. Oh, the <laughs> just a simple throw. Mm hmm. And again, for those of you that are just tuning in, this is Super Boss Brothers, the special. Flame Fatales edition. We are featuring seven games from the Flame Fatales games list. And we're actually featuring two performers from Flame Fatales. Yatsavera Messia on the left, who performed Record of Lodos War, d and Wonder Labyrinth. Yet Sky Bills. Oh, who was that? Uh, you had Sky Bills on the right, who played for, for uh, Forbidden Memories and is also, you know, as the GDQ host. Oh, these flurry of punches. God! Oh my goodness, that throw. She's like upside down about to lay on the ground. It just... Mm -hmm. oh. All right, Wonder Woman. Sheesh, that is... That's a tad bit unkind. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. I'm getting a, like a, is that, is that like, is that like E Honda in there somewhere with that super fast arm the attack fast there? Flur flurry of punches. <laughs> the hundred hand slap. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. And Skybill's just getting to this, however, gonna gonna have to see uh, how to, to summon so how to fell this fearsome foe. Oh, do we get oh no. thought we had a little bit of a loop there, but you know, the these bot these these enemy AI, they uh never make it easy. Not even a charge character oh, is able to do all of this. Okay, so there's a moon in the background here. Is that of any significance? I, it, it, it sure is pretty, isn't it? <laughs> uh oh. We, we, the we, voice we... in our ear is going to educate us again, you all. Welcome to Neo Tokyo, a thousand years in the future. So what year is this game set in? So I can get some 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 kind of idea of the date. I'm like like I, I wouldn't say like now present day present day, but like uh, uh this is obviously a thousand years into the future. <laughs> so, so a the thousand three, plus 3, something. Three thousand or twenty nine ninety nine or plus shipping and handling. You're not supposed to ask that question. Just just go with it. <laughs> All right, but we're, we're coming up to uh, both of these competitors on the same level. Yeah, so, oh. Same spot. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're 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 just using these powers up. That is hilarious that they both did their power up at the same time. <laughs> wow. That's the power of teamwork, baby. It is. Look, damn look, at the, on. look at this sink right now. Can we can we can we get some light for the sink right now? Yeah, this is. Here we go again, you all. Oh, why she got the Benny Maru, the, the King of Fighters? Oh, oh no! <laughs> she said, "Shut up." <laughs> May as well knock her out. Wow, this is still so close again. No, no. For those inquiring in the chat, this is not the fighting game. It's a completely different game. This is this is the brawler beat 'em up game. 
uh, it, it, it came to my surprise that there were actually like quite a few of these released onto uh, the Super Famicom systems. But, but we have the, the two player or the potentially two player co op beat em up right now. This is some very, very uh, chill music for what's going on. This is the Crystal Palace. I don't know how that was supposed to defend that, but I, I don't. just so it's like I just want to just relax. Ready to and, take you down. Do, 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 do. I know, it just has got a little. I love it. Wow, I'm seeing bones and everything there. Nice drop kicks by Jupiter, and and look look at this these throws. There goes spin dash and all the place again. So this may be another one of those things where we're gonna take it down to who completes this level. We got 90 seconds left. Yeah, we, 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 are, we have such a, a, a lead, you know, like, sorry, we have such a you know, shifting leads. Yes, yes, yes. Really, really close. So uh, probably at the end of this stage, yeah, there's a boss at the end of the stage, so. The first person who will be able to uh, complete the stage by being the boss will be declared the victor. Mm hmm. Oh, whoa. Look at these creatures. Whoa. <laughs> wow. That's where things get a little bit, a little bit weird. This is a thousand years in the future. Oh my goodness, this this platter of Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> it was just just a whole little puddle just sitting on the ground. Oh wow. Uh, oh no, this sky. Oh no, what happened to sky? Oh, uh, ran, ran out a little ran bit. Out, out of lives. No. Yeah, you, 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 you got a finite over. amount of continues before that game over. Oh. And holding on to the very end like that, especially when, when we're like yeah, literally 20 minutes in, again, su such a grand display from these two competitors. Sabetta yeah. is going to be taking this, though. Yeah, that was, that was literally dead even there until that. But, but again, it's, but it's not even over yet. It's not. There is still a chance for Sky Bills to turn this around. Yes, there if, are. If, if we if Ooh. we if we can get the next two games on Sky Bills fav in Sky Bills favor, then then that would be it. She'll be crowned the super boss for this very episode. So it, all of this rides on the last two games. Yep, there are six points left to be won. And although I don't demonstrate mathematical mastery tonight, but I can tell you that six plus one is more than six. But uh, in order to do that, we have to get our next game. This is our last of our two-point games coming up next, and we're going to hmm. get our player who was ahead this time to choose the game. So we're going to get Sabera in here to uh, make that selection. Um, uh, Sabera, hello there. Hi. The queen of Sailor Moon, I see. <laughs> it's, you know, I do a lot of henshin in my spare time. Okay, then. I see it. Well, um, you have a chance to uh, solidify your win tonight if you can win either of the next games, but Scott can still take you out if she wins right. the next games. So, this is a life or life decision here. <laughs> Do you want uh, option one or option four for game number six? What do you think? Uh, well, uh, I feel like uh, I feel like we're we're gonna go with option one. Are you uh, sure? We're, we're gonna do we're gonna do number one first. Well, you know, sixth, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about that? No, but it's my final answer. Oh my goodness, the hesitancy. Okay. All righty. Well, all right. We're going to choose number one and send you off to get set up for this next game. And then I uh, wish you luck as well. All right. Thank you very much. All righty. Um, 
So our sixth game tonight, this is our last of our two-point games that I just mentioned, mm-hmm. is... <gasps> Thank you, Bobby. Is, is what, John? Go ahead. Tell us all about this game. It's Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Only my favorite Sonic game in the whole wide world of the world. Oh, oh, I'm so happy right now. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the complete package. And we're going to drop them a little bit into the middle of the acts. And, uh, and yeah. (laughs) <laughs> like, like there's, there's not really that much to say other than uh, uh they are just gonna be using sonic only uh these two so no 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 nux gliding no tails but, flying but see there i see so i see what they're doing but those who know sonic 3 and knuckles and this is this is actually on more so on the sonic and knuckles portion the goal is to clear flying battery and sandopolis oh my goodness mm-hmm Sandopolis, that level, Act One and Act Two is the the one. Oh, oh it, it, it's not that big. Oh, they be hot. Yeah. What did you just say? It's not that big. Aren't you Aren't you the one that doesn't really like that much Sonic games? Is that what you're saying? Hmm? I'm not saying that. I I just I just had a blast playing Sonic on this stream today, or on on my stream today. Are you talking? Are you kidding me? You had a blast. I had a 3D blast. A sonic blast. blast. Oh, you had a 3D blast. Oh. I know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Speaking of 3D blast. Ain't no crowd control here. (laughs) I mean, we we had had some 3D blasts on here a little bit earlier for Super Boss Brothers, and and that was extremely great as well. Yes. uh, Yes. uh, Oh, I love this game. But yeah, it's going to be fun to see what happens here. So what? We got 4X to get through two zones, 4X, and... uh, Mm-hmm. This should be fun. This should be. Oh, I'm I'm so ready for this. Yeah, I, I really think like, I mean, flying battery is gonna be fun. Yeah, it's really gonna come to a head in, in Sandopolis, especially Sandopolis Act Two. So we'll just see how these two competitors will fare uh, with with any of this. I'm curious in the chat and those coming on a YouTube video, how many of you all ran out of time on Act Two of Sandopolis? You know, oh, like, like, like at least like three times. <laughs> I mean, the difference in the level link between Sonic Two and One compared to Three, or especially Sonic and Knuckles. Oh my, they definitely were hefty zone links, act links. But oh, I can't wait to see. I wonder how much they know about Sonic and Knuckles. I'm curious. You know, it's like when you were playing Sonic and 3 and you couldn't get past the barrel of doom. Just stuck going up and down <laughs> and couldn't figure out how to get off that thing around it. Oh, oh that see see and and that's why um like the only way that I got that I that I got out of that was just taking solo Sonic because the AI Knuckles or sorry not AI Knuckles, AI Tails will just completely mess up that uh you know that, that 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 up and down movement that you're you're trying to do. I love how these Sonic games always had that one part below that just just bothered you as a kid. Like Sonic Two and Mr. Cave had that that pit that if you fell down, you'd have stuck on spikes. No way out. Just, Yo, sorry. <laughs> it's like got him. I I I remember watching my friend like play through Sonic Two with like cheat codes and all that stuff. I was like, oh look at me, I'm Super Sonic and all that stuff. And then he fell down that pit, and there was still no way, yeah, absolutely no way to get out. Just sit there and relax. Oh, oh, the good days. Mm. Great. Now I have an idea for next our next show. <laughs> Is it gonna be the the, the, the Sonic Seven? Did we do that? No, we did a Mega Man one. Oh, I mean, I mean, hey, maybe we'll switch it up and go from like one long seven point game. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, well, I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll see. About it. We'll see. We'll see. We got some ideas. Maybe maybe for our hundredth show, our, our centennial show in like three years. Whew. You know, I we'll put them through what, what a, I don't know a, th- a thirteen game gauntlet. When this is uh, televised and and and, and we're like standing side by side at the podium, 
oh yeah, we're going to be in some big old picture, some stadium somewhere. We're going to live stream onto your Amazon Echo devices and the whole nine. Yeah. You know, pay-per-view event maybe even. I like the idea of that. Mm. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, y'all. This is the final game of round two worth two points. And uh, and yeah, th- these are the last chances for to get some points on the board. So I bet has been extremely adept with uh, just keeping that lead. So these two, like like yeah, the numbers re- literally do not tell the story because it has been just back and forth, especially through that Sailor Sailor Moon ordeal, especially through uh, Kirby's Dreamland. This has been nothing short of amazing. Yeah, and that's how it happens so often on this show. We had. We have so many games that get so close. It's just, uh, if we just, I don't know, just gave them a, a timer instead and added their total times in the game, it would be so close, like completion times, and it's just ridiculous. But uh, it is great, and the ladies are doing fantastic tonight, I must say. You know? We need yeah, to get a new logo made, too, because, you know, we have a lot of times we have, that's uh, not, that's we have ladies saying. night. You know, we got to modify our show name on Ladies Night here. We, we got to get Super Bros sisters in here. Sisters. You know? So. But yeah, by the way, speaking of the show, you know, for those of y'all who have expressed interest and possibly want to be a contestant, don't forget to hit myself or Bobby up and let us know that, hey, you want to come into the 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 competition of Doom and and have some fun. You know, we are always looking for people who want to play. So if you're interested, you know where to find us. I hope. Uh, and yeah, and yeah. Uh, just in case, if if there are any game overs, they they are they can definitely uh, you just use uh, level select to get back to where they were in the current act in the current zone. Just just so we can just keep this moving, because I mean, it's Sonic. You got to go fast, right? I got to go fast and use level select. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do here. <laughs> yeah. You know? How else was I supposed to uh what? if not for the level select codes, I, I like I wouldn't be able to like I wouldn't have been able to get through uh uh like Robotnik and Sonic One or Sonic Two. What? Like What? No, I mean no, I mean like look look I no I I meant I definitely completed these in one sitting. But like to, to practice the bosses, you know, okay. like you know, you know, like like level select is the debug mode is really good for the speed runs, really good for the speed runs. So yeah, we're doing flying battery and Sandalopolis. Excuse me, what? <laughs> Sandal- <laughs> Sandalopolis? Sandalopolis. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's right. We got a new zone name here. Sandalopolis. San- San- Coming out of the Sonic Mania Two, Sandalopolis City. Mercy. Hey, hey, that's not that's not being distracted. That's being funny. All right, all right. So, oh, so <laughs> silly. Yeah, silly I'm boy. So mad. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, let, let's go through this again. Okay, they gotta they gotta complete Sampersand in order to complete the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> all right, chat. Your goal is to give us the worst rename for Sandopolis in chat. Okay. Let me get some good ideas here for future zone names. Alright, <laughs> John, please help me count down. Oh my <laughs> word, here we go. Count down from ten and nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, this is so exciting. Sonic 3, y'all. Let's go. Sonic 3. And the cliche. Here we go. Okay, we need to start over here, cause <laughs> y'all, uh, y'all, abort mission. With the Sonic, abort. Only. <laughs> ab- ab- abort. This is the wrong. Ca- <laughs> you know how sometimes you bring the players in. I'm gonna bring them both in right now. Um, uh, uh, ladies, ladies, l- ladies, hey. ladies. Hey. You all are all live right now. This is a Sonic only challenge. What are you two doing? Uh, we're doing it exactly was. what was told to us. We were told to load the same state. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna unmute. Look, like I legitimately Abby? do not know how this happened. 
<laughs> Hi, I'm the producer. You normally don't hear me on the show. I'm confused. Uh, uh, are, are we stopping? Are we going? Yeah, let's... I don't know. This is so can... such an unprecedented in this. Look, look. Uh, we, we, we need y'all to, to, to... Huh? Okay. Can, 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 all right, all right. Yeah, uh, this uh, is look, look. and Knuckles. Tails is not even in the title, y'all. <laughs> Look. Um, all right, so so let so let's do this. Um, let's reset. But let, let's go back to level select, and and and, and, and let's walk through. This. <laughs> How? I didn't know you My could do that. <laughs> they are just trying to make this more difficult than it needs to be. See what happens. See, we had a really Surprise, short game right earlier. Now we have all the problems now. Okay. Okay. This is Tails and uh, Tails and Tails. I'm more impressed that you both <laughs> did it as well. Like, huh? Right, what what button sure. did you press? I think if you I press... pressed start. Yeah, me too. Oh, so look, look, look at the flavor text on the back of level select. You, you, if you press a button, it changes the... Yeah, you, no, you have to have a cut. one. Yeah, We're right below Angel okay. Island, you see that one? Oh, I see. Yeah. I must have accidentally pressed the C button. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh. So wait a second. So if it says one, it's okay. I see the O one. The background yeah. it should read Sonic instead of Miles. Yeah, in the background it should read Sonic instead of uh, Miles for Tails. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that flavor oh. text in the back. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive that we coordinated well, that. Hey, 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 sp speaking of that's never happened before, tune in tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern, um, right? It seems like the text in the back is just going back and forth. The text the text in the yeah. back, that flavor text is just switching back and forth every so often. Yeah, that's the way Sign 2 does it. Yeah, you just need to have one on the number there. So as long as that number below Angel Island says 01, that's Sonic. I think 00 is Sonic and Tails, 01 is Sonic, 02 is is uh tails only and three is knuckles yeah okay all yeah. right okay 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 all right okay 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 all right we're gonna send y'all both down G good luck again don't break it all right <laughs> i mean, I mean hey, y'all can hear us now so we're gonna start you off live and then once we know you all yeah. right characters we'll put you back oh, in your okay all right all right all right, all right all right i see okay how it is. Gotcha. are you right you both ready <laughs> yeah i'm ready yeah okay, okay. five right. four three two one go all right please sonic Please, Sonic. Okay. All right. We're Sonic. All right. Good luck, ladies. We're sending you back down the green room. Bye. Way to go, Bobby. <laughs> you cannot blame that on me. Shut up. Do you know how to set the mess up? Uh, I'll at least run the game. Shut these ass me. Yeah, Doug. I tell you, that's what I said earlier today. If something goes wrong, blame Bobby. All right. Well, now we've gotten rid of that, that knucklehead fox. <laughs> that, that literally just happened. Oh <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Welcome to Flying Battery Zone. Welcome to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, and again, we st we are uh, having them complete two levels as Sonic only. And uh, they're not required to uh, get any of the Chaos Emeralds. It's just literally race to the finish of both of those levels. Yes, now you all can focus back on your on your Sandopolis renames. <laughs> oh, I love how someone has a Zelda vibe. Sahashwalopolis. Yes, that's a good one. Sahashwalopolis. Uh, San Francisco. <laughs> We're now one race. And oh no, it's man down. Or should I say hog down? Uh, oh, this is so down. cute. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, oh wow. This is this is gonna be. Can we extend the time to thirty minutes? Okay, thank you. You, you just want more Sonic. I do. I I, I just does. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Well, there if, you if, go. If, if John wants it, what up? Well, if John wants it, we got it. You, you know, since we, we want, had a really want, short game you earlier. Thirty minutes of Sonic. Let's let's do it. No, no, I agree. I mean, you're gonna spend 20 minutes in Act Two of Sandopolis anyway, or Sando Oppleville, or whatever we're gonna call it today. San Bernardino. All right. <laughs> sand. 
Santona. You know Let's just call it Dirtville. How about that? No, because the sands are really well, nice. sand is dirt. <laughs> <sighs> so these are these are games that these these two ladies do not play Sonic Three and Knuckles. And oh my goodness, the crunch. Yeah, the the the, the, the kind of like classic Sonic special. You know, if it, if it's not if it's not uh, Sonic One spikes, it's definitely getting crushed by something. I mean, dirt is made from sand, right? Or or just stuff. It, it's made of stuff and things. Why are we getting Why are we getting into that? We're, we're still at flying batteries. Though. What what is, what is this shit made out of? This this little battleship. It's made of nouns. Of course. Flying battery. <laughs> it's made of energizers and duracells, obviously. Where are the bunnies, John? Can you please leave me alone? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sabera. No, oh, this got the extra life. Was well, down to one. That same life that uh, Sky is on right now. You gotta be a little bit uh, conscious here, unless you <laughs> come across up. Oh, there you go. Yes, they are. They're determined to go that path here. Oh no, I don't like this. This is not going to end well. Th this is. I just love when someone's playing a side game for the first time. I just love watching it. But that's okay. Like. like <laughs> It really is a certain like a uh, nostalgic magic, you know. Like, like there is, there is there is the great like you know prospect of like speed running and optimizing and learning all of this, but then there's just like you know trying to take down a t an obstacle for the first time. Yeah, yeah. This is this is this is me playing Zelda too. Just just kind of hurting a little bit, but <laughs> I believe in them. They will conquer this section. Of course. Well, some of us are getting really bad flashbacks when we were a kid. Right Wait, we'll, we'll get through this and then we'll we'll make our way to Sansonville. You sure you want to get them Carnival Night right now instead? Carnival, Carnival Night, Night is way no. worse than Sandopolis. Change my mind. Action? Carnival Night is way worse than Sandopolis. Oh boy. That could so just that could be, that could be kid me like talking, but like I, I think I stand by that. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, chat. What, what, what was your most uh, frustrating Sonic level? Let us know in the comments below if you're watching this on YouTube. Got some of names. Sanford and Sons. Oh, <laughs> Sanford and Sons. Oh, have mercy. So Scott's got a little invincibility action, which is obviously nice to have right now, and. uh we gotta make our way vertically. I said, the thing about this level is that it has actually has a pretty pretty significant shortcut to kind of cut up a lot of the level, but yeah, you, you, you get a lot of like time difference of like especially like what like top versus bottom routes and all that stuff in uh, in yeah. this act. Yeah, so like the you saw Scott kind of fall down this path earlier, and uh... oh no. Ooh. Yeah, the timers of that can be just awful, you know, because they are they are global timed here in those, and if you just get there the wrong time, mm. you know, that's the thing about this game, when you play it the same way, you know when is, when stuff is going to happen, otherwise you don't know what's going to happen, and, but yeah, this little level, actually it's a little shortcut, interesting enough, you see that spike where, where he, where she just jumped over? Uh-huh. You can actually push that spike and go the bottom path, it's actually the only special stage in this level, in this act actually, down there. Really? But you can actually push a spike over. That's kind of unheard of. But you can push the spikes over, fall down, and go the bottom route up to the end of the level. How, are, how uh, is everyone supposed to know that? Because we, are, we were young and we explored levels. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Trial and error was, was a good thing, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, that's how Sun and 3 Ford was. You know, the special stages are all hidden away somewhere. You know, they're not going to be seeing your path usually, so... We gotta find them if you want to get Chaos Emeralds in this game versus, you know, Sonic 1, 
just having 50 rings, etc. But uh, I think that's what sometimes this may be a deterrent of some people playing the game because it's not just as straightforward to say Sonic 1 and 2, this, you know, whole right win. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's try to figure out a little mechanic here. Oh, this guy getting out of the way. Uh, and of course, it wouldn't be a Sonic game if the boss didn't hit itself. You know, I'm looking at you, Sonic CD. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was literally going to say. <laughs> CD is so good. Oh, my Lord. You know, Robotnik can make some really clever levels, but he stinks at making his bosses. And oh, my man literally beats himself to death. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I don't believe this. <laughs> Robotnik. I love I love Eggman so much. Oh, it's such a good it's a, such, such a good character. But uh, we continue because now we're headed to Act Two. Um, again, I I know we talk about this a lot today, but man, Sonic Three and Knuckles music. Oh God, man, it's so good. Like, like this is so good. And and if you've ever played Sonic Mania and think that this song oh. cannot get better. It's just, uh, it's just, it's just, oh my God, it's such it, a it, great year. It, it really is. Yo, when, when Sonic Mania speed runs done? Well, everybody in their mama's day and twice removed was running when the game came out. Shoot, even I was. Mm. Well, actually, it was more so everybody was doing ILs. Oh, Sky. Oh, this guy's got to be careful on that on that last life. Now, the good thing about this is that uh, if, if she were to game over, uh, we were we can we, we would let her start off from the same uh, act, you know. Uh, yeah, let's start from the same act. So yeah, could still start from act two without much progress lost. And this is definitely one of those levels that does have a distinct upper path and top path, and they do very greatly. Mm -hmm. um, one was much longer than the other. Kind of safer, but longer. Oh, oh, oh my lord. I don't know a house if ever survived that one. Don't want to get crushed. Don't want to get pinched. Wait, wait, a fine, <laughs> fine battery is God. chock full of stage hazards and winding ways. Yeah, so right there, Sky decided to take the first exit, which takes you down to the bottom. Of the this, actually the, this is actually the, the, the uh, shorter path. Um, Interesting enough, Speedrun tech and replenish glitchless is actually to use your. Oh no! The speedrun tech there is to actually, when she stars, to use her lightning shield, which gives you a, a, a double jump, and just completely ignore those those barrels. And we just double jump to the first platform and double jump to the end and be done with it. But uh, that's easy to know when you know what you're doing. Speak, of course, speaking of uh, folks that know what they're doing can make sure you check out the Sonic 3 and Knuckles run at Flame Fatales. I mean, the VODs are up on the YouTube. Make sure you head on over to youtube.com slash games done quick and uh, catch up on that on that event. Because <laughs> again, I will say time and time again, I absolutely enjoyed every game from, from that games list uh, at yes. Flame Fatales this year. Yeah, I tell you what, if you, if you haven't actually, if anyone has never seen a Sonic 3 and Knuckles run specifically, uh, in any percent run with all the zips and it is, I've, I've always said that uh, any percent run of Sonic 3 and Knuckles is probably one of the hardest Sonic runs that exists because mm. so many of these things, there's no Ooh. room for error. Oh no. You mess and, and up, there, you soft lock, that. you're stuck. You can't do anything. Mm. And, ooh. Now Scott could opt and take the bottom route instead, not the first way up, but taking the next one, which will actually keep her in the up and in, inside of this this whole ship versus mm -hmm. going on the outside section and eventually the paths connect back together like most sonic games you know they always come back together at some point but but we'll see because they are together now literally in the ex exact same button press here yeah now now, now that here's like the crossroads right well what path are they gonna take yeah I mean, most times you're playing casual, you're gonna take the first thing you see, and we're mm -hmm. gonna see because Sky's been here before, whereas uh, Sabera is going to be forced because she took damage <laughs> oh. on the other path. 
quite interesting. But there's also, a checkpoint. Ah! Oh. So you see what happened there? Sky jumped off that middle platform, so she was not inside the barrel. That's why she went right through it. Because you have to mm. actually enter into it versus just jumping through it. So. So one advantage is for the Sabera actually got a checkpoint very close to it. Yeah, I was, I was just going to mention. But, uh. Again, Sky, that is a shorter path. When she would have had checkpoint, she could have gotten through it. So. Yeah. So if she's still on the platform and doesn't earn the barrel, she can't get it. But we'll see what happens if she's going to approach it one more time here. Yeah, because, like, the thing is, um, the way that you want to get into that, uh, that, that barrel is a little bit more precise than you would think. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Just, uh, force to take that bottom out as well. All right. But okay. also getting that checkpoint. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's a little bold there because you don't know the global cycle, but she's safe. So they're basically back at the point now where the, the pass would have, would have, uh, oh, my goodness, they're not back. Mm. So the pass have joined back together now, no matter which pass you would taking bottom or top. Uh, Scott can get some stuff here. She's not too far behind, but no, I I, I, I wholly believe that both of these players can get to uh, Sansus. Uh, oh yeah, Sansus. Sansus. Come on down to Sansus. <laughs> lordy, lordy. <laughs> you ain't you ain't never been to Sansus. Uh, how about how about Santana? Santana. We don't get no no legal issue with that one, are we? Santana. <laughs> Not if it's spelled correctly. I see. Alrighty, well, Scott is making some ground here again. Oh no! Oh. Those, oh, those. It doesn't take too long when you play this level to realize when you should just wait out a cycle. So your aggressiveness does not get you like that. Yeah, but this is also Sonic. You want it, you want it, you gotta go fast. But if you go fast, then, well, it's Sonic. But you can't go too fast in Sonic games. You go too fast, you die. Oh yeah, you go too fast, you clip into a wall because, <laughs> because Sonic You games. just land the ground, the ground says, okay, kill them. <laughs> for no legitimate reason. Get punished for going too fast. Oh wow. Santa Kirky. <laughs> oh, in the world. Santa Kirky. I I'd rather tap into my Midwest roots with uh oh. Minnesota. Well you can enjoy this one. Sin San Natty. Um, you don't like that, do you? How about we take a how about we take a vacation, John, to you know about a couple days at Santa Fe. Santa Fe. Sand of a cleave, cleave sand. <laughs> oh boy. Well, uh, Sabera is sitting here at our, I can't even call it the mid boss, but very close to end to act here. Another one of those bosses in true Sonic condition, or a tradition where you just don't do nothing, but just don't get hit. Survive it long enough and proceed. You know? Yeah, pretty, just, pretty straightforward here. Uh, oh, 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 and there, the, oh, there, there was the, the hazard that took Sky out last time. Good job, Sky. Thank you for waiting. Oh, no. You just can't walk. You just got to use that spin dash. Good thing is the checkpoint wasn't right okay, there. That encourages you to go back. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Get, go back and get a ring, dude. Go left. Just don't get too close to it. Oh, Father Abraham, now do Ooh. it again. Okay, oh. now don't do it now because you're going to... Oh, sweet mercy. Guys, this guy is scaring the living bee out of me right now. This is Scott's element. She plays extremely adept when she's focused like this. Oh, my this, heart. This, this is... Like, like I, I know in, in like, like the mentality is I've got this, and that's what I love about Sky. Well, I'll tell you what she has got. She's got one life oh. here, as Sabera is on the boss of Act 2 here of Flying Battery. 
Oh. The goal is to wait for the boss to come up after this. And we, if you lose a ring, you are not re grabbing because they always fall to the ground. Oh, and, that is, and that's a Ooh. game over. It so, looks like we have a lead pull. If Sky uh, Bills can hang on, then she will be go. the first to San Dakota. <laughs> What about like North Sandalina? There you go. <laughs> West Sandlum, Ohio. Oh my goodness. Can you tell me the way to West Sandywood, huh? Oh, that, that's a good one. That's Sandinavia. <laughs> All righty. Uh, so, gotta keep it a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more lo local. We're just uh settling down little town no, local. little neighborhood off new sandshire san lanta <laughs> san lanta <laughs> west in the delphi you boy <laughs> no you, you can't that's a slam dunk you can't take that one oh <laughs> oh lordy yeah san Diego is pretty doggone good so uh dance this one is so good oh my <laughs> Keep them coming. Y'all are on point now. We should hire you all as our, as our people here. By the way, Sky has gone past that boss here and almost hit to the final boss of the level here. Yeah. She's got to be careful. She does not get squishy squishy because she's on her last life as well. Wow, nice Ooh. sound effect, by the way. Oh, get the rings. Get the rings. Get the rings. Oh, yep. get squished. <laughs> all right. So again, Sky's going to have to get this boss done the first try. It's her only try, actually. Because she's on her last life again and again. She's got to get through this amount of rings. Now, patience will definitely, will definitely wear off. God. Or, uh, sorry, will definitely pay off here. All right, she got a ring because you only can get it when it falls. It does not bounce here. Huh? Oh, this is scary. He's not going to get all the eight hits in here. Huh? So we're gonna stay on one side and just wait until he comes back up. Oh my God, the offerings almost got it. Oh, 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 that was terrifyingly close. You know, I was doubly close because she landed almost in the last possible frame. And for those who don't know, those spikes are still active on both sides of her body yes. until they yes. blow up. So you can get all happy. Yeah, in fact, her pet peeve, her pet peeve, getting hyped when it's not over yet. Yeah, that could have been. Here we that. go. Sweet home, Alabama. All right, we got 18,000 names for the zone now. Where the sand is, sand. San Domingo? <laughs> San Domingo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, yo. Please keep them coming. This is, this is gold. So if you thought if you thought <laughs> flying battery had too many paths to choose, well this one just has way too many. There's like five, four or five special stage rings in this level. There's mm -hmm. there's just let me tell you what. If you ever go look up the, the level map for this level, oh my goodness gracious. It is just there's the upper upper path, the super oh, yeah. upper path, there's a knuckles only path lost in here, there's a there's a, there's just, just. <laughs> there's so much. Oh my. San Sandrius. I just saw that. <laughs> oh my God. You all are on it tonight. Right, right. We need, we need a super cut of all of these sand places. Can we get some of that parse out the chat, please, with the word sand over the last, like, you know, 21 minutes? Please, thank you. We, we are taking this meme way beyond is is it is it hydrocity or hydro city no we got <laughs> oh oh yeah we're beyond the hydrocity hydro city battle we are on a whole nother level now a level that no one ever thought about not at you know? all so oh my god well sabera is on the boss here having all three of her lives here Meanwhile, Sky is enjoying the trip through whatever sea this is. San San Luis. <laughs> oh 
which color hurts, yo. What is this pool on Twitch right now? <laughs> How do you Why did you do this? Um, <laughs> just throw the options. I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm like seeing the pole now. I'm thinking, oh, here we go. And I look at all the options. <laughs> so, so Ben has got to be really careful. Only, only one hit to go here. No. Oh. I want to say the comms are in sandemonium. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> you yeah, about to exacerbate my asthma. Oh my god! I need some drink. Here. Oh god! Oh my god! This is the sand that doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sending it forever. <laughs> oh. Please, chat. Oh. We're trying to run a show here. I, no, they're running the show for us. That's, oh. That's, yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, the good thing is tonight, in a few minutes, we'll know exactly how to pronounce that word. <laughs> Yeah, we don't learn nothing today. We'll probably know how to pronounce that level's name. Oh, well, welcome back to Friday Night Game Shows, everybody. It, I missed y'all. I entirely missed y'all. Welcome, and welcome back to another episode of Super Boss Brothers. Oh, oh. Sabera is off, is out of the flying battery zone. Yep, yeah, about to go <sighs> join Star. But Sky is four minutes into the act already, but uh, we got to get through this silly act. So the brand white sands of San Cremento. Wow, the company just cannot <laughs> sand this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely ain't Ocean Week with all this dry humor going on. Oh, <laughs> did you just say dry humor? <laughs> oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts so badly. It hurts so bad right now. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah. So, five minutes left on the clock, and and and, and my so glad that we extended this to thirty minutes. By the at way, John's behest. The poll results are in. Oh. The correct answer <laughs> is sand. <laughs> sand has beat out sand, 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 and also sand. Oh. Oh, um, oh, oh, so Sky is is going such a great route. Yeah, this is like the uh, one of the mini routes here of this silly level. I mean, it's yeah, just yeah, and, and that was, that's what I was gonna like uh, gonna say. Where it's like, I, I feel like eventually you're gonna find find your way. Like, but, but here's, the, here's the fun thing about this level: if you run this game glitchless and you play with Super Sonic, you know, best ending. You actually use supersonic and you basically go on the very top of the level and just jump over all the stuff and just go all the way to the end and you'll be there in like a minute. Oh yeah, all emeralds is really, really great. Yeah, you, you get like supersonic extremely early. Yeah, and so that's obviously mostly your speed, but also that double jump when you're playing Sonic and 3. Sonic and 3, what is Sonic and 3? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, my mind just can't stand the humor anymore. Oh. <laughs> Sky, Sky Bills is that is that the uh, mini boss? Yeah. But uh, cool. But here we go again. By the way, look at that timer. We're at six <laughs> minutes already in Act One. So Act Two. Hang on. Uh. Oh, make sure that you are following these two women speed runners. This has been an incredible. Just uh having them adapt to unique challenges and they are even more much more of a joy uh to watch once you see them completely wreck face at their speed runs of choice or even yes. you know sky bills has got magic competitive magic the gathering streams going on and Sabera always is looking for the next indie game hit to run 
but make sure please follow them at their respective channels we'll get the links to you uh, in just a second mm -hmm. it's gonna be interesting to see how they both tackle this boss here you know <gasps> oh you know that is, that's right you know that's right bosses in this game are not what they well what you expect them to be you know how that works but uh Hmm, but Scott's gonna keep it on that timer here because we're at seven. Oh no. Oh, the double squish of doom. Ooh. Meanwhile, Sabera's just hanging out. So let's see, let's see what uh, Sky's got in mind. Oh. Oh. Oh, hmm. a little bit of boost. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm so hype. <laughs> so hype. Oh, oh no. Oh, uh oh, oh, back and forth. Here's the thing that ti that timer is ticking. That's right. Eight minutes on the clock, and un, you know, unlike the 3D Sonic games, once you hit 10 minutes, it is all there. And that's unfortunately right. for Sky, that would be the last, because that's the last life. So it would be really, really bad. To... But but what's what's the what's the what's the answer here? Whatever, but better find it fast here. We got about 75 seconds here. Yep, just one more. Uh oh, just one more on the clock. And victory. Oh, she got it down. Act one is all there. I, I was scared. I, I was scared. Cool. Now it's time for more Arkansas. <laughs> Little Rock, Arkansas. Arkansas, dear. Yes, the easiest act in the entire game. <laughs> you, you sure said it. I said it. Used to, it. I used, to, used, to, used to actually scare me as a kid. Because, like, like, I would get so afraid that it, it would turn dark and the ghost would get me. Yeah, dude, this is kind of scary here. But that's going to be time. Yep. Skybill solidifying and making this a pivotal, like, what a pivotal game to yes. score on because now she is in the running and challenge seven matters y'all this is the final game worth all, pretty much all the marbles who will be the super boss sister tonight bobby bobby yeah send us a rep <laughs> yo i got the assist on chat on that when i about i about laughed myself to death Sound oh my god! I, I I completely <laughs> forgot. I live right. I I literally live right next to Sandusky, Ohio. I literally live wow. right next to Sandusky. That was so. It was so close. I couldn't reach it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you what. This is gonna be exciting, you all. I mean, that was. I mean, that was still, still close too, because Sabera was right there on her. But uh, absolutely, absolutely. That's right. Absolutely. Game, sand, We're just gonna use the word "sand" every word now. So standing up after this sake. That this is not gonna work. Uh, game seven, that will decide the super boss sister of tonight's competition. That is right, y'all. So please do not go away. Well, if you have to, make sure to stand up and stretch, get some water, because this is taking a lot of it out of me. But uh, make sure you head on back here because we have the absolute final game worth all the marbles of Super Boss Sisters. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you soon. All right, all right, all right, y'all. The moment you've been waiting for is finally here. Welcome back to the final game of our special lame fatales version of super boss brothers hosted live on the gdq hotfix we have showcased six games from the flame fatales event benefiting model of fund uh earlier but now we got one final game to go through i wonder if the chat can guess what this might be 
John? You know what? I'll give y'all a hint. I love giving hints. The upcoming game has a consonant in its name. <laughs> All right, so it's so it's not it's not a uh, it's not I. Yes, it's not A E I O O U, and sometimes Y or W. Well, by well, itself. Well, by itself. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hints, hints. Thanks, John. Hints. Hey, that's what I'm here for. I got y'all. <laughs> But no, it, it's it's been well. Let's, let's kind of like re- <laughs> recap on the tale of the tape so far. We um, have, have gone through so many games of Flame Fatales, from Sonic to Kirby's Dream Land to Sailor Moon, and uh, we got one more in, st- in in store. And this is actually going to be a pretty a pretty good one. One one that we can that one we can kind of kind of chill with, you know. You know, is there a game called Sand, <laughs> John? Or should we just sit down and play in the sandbox instead? I don't know. <laughs> Bobby, what is game? What is the last game that they have to? You well, know, drum roll, please. To? We will switch on over. Welcome to the first final fantasy. Now, uh, Leggy Starscream did play, I believe, on the PSP uh, platform for Final Fantasy One, uh, due to uh, the way that we do things on this uh, on this stream. Uh, we're going to be using Donna Souls, the Game Boy uh, platform, for all intents and purposes. Let's keep in line with the retro theme, you know. Uh, but yeah, you can choose any, well, any number in any of the any of the four. Uh, Cl- uh, you know, uh, potential warriors of light. Outfit them with classes, and uh, we're gonna send them on some very, uh, pre- you know, very preliminary journeys. I tell you what, the Game Boy has probably gotten more love today than probably any other show between the Game Boy variants. You know, mm. two GBs and uh, what two Game Boy Advance games? Yeah, like like they they they're. they're quite really good with uh you know being nice pocket adventures like you know kirby's dreamland was extremely short and sweet we actually got to see um a completion of that on super boss brothers and uh i mean i'm not gonna say Final Fantasy one's like more of of, of that because like it's an rpg it's it's pretty it's pretty drawn out but relatively a nice pocket-sized rpg adventure mm-hmm. pocket size I can see, I already see the chat trying to tie sand into this. Yeah, it's not going to work. Wow. We're not fighting the lich. We're not doing any, any, any of that. We're going to, we're going to bully Garland and then we're going to take down the pirates in Bravoca and get the pirate ship. So, uh, if you would obtain the ship, then you complete the challenge. <laughs> Final fantasy one, get the boat. Exactly. This so yeah, is all we're, your fault, by the way. This definitely is. We're giving uh, these participants uh, a little bit of time to set up their characters and all that. But soon we will be ready for this final, uh, yeah, this final attempt, this final challenge. And it, it, this is for all the marbles. If Sky manages to win this, she pulls ahead by such a grand amount or you know it, 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 it's gonna take such a grand amount to get there for challenge four is worth sorry the challenge seven is worth four points yeah winner take all here and that, that we love it we love it yeah, if you missed any part of the show today then uh you have to make sure that you go back and watch watch this back on youtube it's gonna be there soon you can watch it here on twitch as well and you can catch up on the episode that you missed today and mm-hmm. all of the other episodes it's a 20 second episode you all yeah i'm, I'm super excited to uh showcase these two uh participants these two competitors again they're, they're really great at what they do for speed running and really uh elite uh just elite gaming veterans in general and in their own in their own but I don't think I've I don't think I've seen them take on you know an RPG like this. What? It, Forbidden Memories is kind of like an RPG. If you really like you know card RPGs. If you really think about it, but we'll, we'll just see here. 
You know, something I forgot to tell you, though. What? what? You know, because we haven't actually had a show in a month, we actually have surpassed our one-year anniversary of running this show on GDQ's channel. Oh, really? Our first show was September 19th of last year, so we kind of, you know, we didn't we didn't have a show on September of this year except early in the month, and so, yeah, this is kind of like our one-year anniversary show, if you want to kind of call it that. I mean, we're, we're in September now. You said September 19th was, you mean August? What, what look, was the look, I'm being proactive, okay? It's actually <laughs> next week, okay? Yeah, but yeah, I just yeah. want to get your hype up, okay? Now hush, leave me alone. Yeah, I can't coming count. up on the one year. Oh, wait, this is not October. I'm so dumb. Yeah, I was gonna say. Look, it's been a tough day, okay? <laughs> I'm so... No, no we're, we're almost we're almost to the one year spectacular, the one year <laughs> anniversary. All that sand on my mind is just ruined it, man. <laughs> this is... Help. Oh, that, that's that's so good. All right. Yeah, All we'll, right. Just, we'll just call our next show the anniversary because it's going to be on uh, September the 17th. So that's as close as we can get to our exact date. Unless we move our show to the 19th, which I have no idea what day. Was it a Sunday? I don't know. <laughs> Friday night game shows on Sunday night. I mean... I'm just saying, or am I just sanding? Uh. <laughs> we gotta get out of this. <laughs> we gotta um, get out of this. <laughs> this is all your sand. fault. This is all my fault. This is a hundred percent by your fault. As I said, the start of the show. No, no. All right. Uh, it looks like both of our competitors are ready for the final game. I think. Are we, are we done set, setting up? All right, both players are ready. And <sighs> all right, anyway, anyway, anyways. Welcome to Final Fantasy One, y'all. Wow. Get the boat, get the championship. That, that that's how we're gonna be doing it here. This is for all the marvels. Whoever gets that boat first, or whoever makes it the furthest, will uh, become the super boss for tonight. I'm super excited. Are you excited, y'all? Yeah, because I don't know what I'm looking at. Well, actually, I do. It just didn't look high definition on the NES, but mm -hmm. I'm ready. All right. I'll go ahead and start counting down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Wow. Wow. All right, Bobby. Now you are the RPG legend here, so educate oh, us yeah, and well, me. Welcome, to, welcome to Cornelia. All right. <laughs> where, where you where you can go ahead. You're, you're given a set amount of gill to uh, outfit your folk in any you know with, with any weapons, items, armor that you see fit. There's also an item shop. Um, let's take a look at the uh, yeah uh, the team comps. You see, you got two warriors. Got a white mage and a red mage on Sabeta's side. Scott Bill's got two warriors, a white mage and a black mage. Pretty solid for starting now. You'll be able to take advantage of a little bit of a uh, white magic here, uh, especially with the red mage. Um, can can be able to use some low level white and black magic. So uh, he's a little bit more malleable than the rest of the cast. Um, unfortunately, the warrior does not get any until you get the class upgrade. We're not going to be going that far in in this challenge. Uh, so he's just gonna be a regular old beat stick there. And Sabera is making her way to the king. Mm. The king saying, up, oh, you know, Garland kidnapped Sara. You gotta get Sara back, please. The four warriors of light, you already know what it is. This guy making sure that she's got everything all set. I 
I never understood why the characters are so why are they big as buildings? Why are they so big? What, what do you mean? When they're like outside walking around the map, they're like huge as like mountains and houses and castles. Well, yeah, it's supposed to be a pretty expansive world, you know. <sighs> if you say so. By the way, this this theme is amazing <laughs> on this version. Oh, I I absolutely love it. Like it, it this this is probably like in line with uh, well, Pixel Remaster kind of blows it out the water, but obviously that came out like a month ago. This came out, uh, I think, like a decade ago. <laughs> More than that. Yeah. There goes Garland. <laughs> Who's there? Garland will knock you down. This guy gonna be on our way to see the king and uh, get to be sent on that quest for Garland as well. What? No, no randomizer, Bobby? No, no oh, randomizer. I'm sorry. Sandomizer. Oh. You started your fault. All right, there we go. And with two warriors, uh, it should be extremely uh, easy to just uh, beat up on old Garland, unless. Oh no, got the cure topped up on the HP. And that is going to be it. Garland is down, and that's one piece of the puzzle. Wow, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, yeah Gar Garland in his in his base form is is not going to be uh, you know that. It's going to be quite the pushover. This is only mm -hmm. the start of the journey. This is only a sample, a piece of the pie. Huh. Could you slow down, Sabera? I was trying to read that for the lore. Thank you. Mm. No, this is a speed run. Is it now? <laughs> or, or sorry, this, this is a, this is a this is a speed challenge. You know, we, 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 challenge. we gotta go. We gotta pick up the pace. But you obtained the loot. This guy gonna be making her way on on up to. Garland as well. Oh, look, they're, they're so diligent. The, the, the translation is like, hey, these, these four guys killed Garland. You want to build this bridge for them real quick? Everyone's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> we have built this bridge for you, so please cross it so you can beat the boss. Well, Sky coming into some uh, pretty uh, frequent encounters here, but every encounter will we'll yield so, such good HP, especially early on. We'll be making our way to Garland's Keep. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that crazy horse. That is... <laughs> that is a crazy horse. Ow! <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> Just kicked, just literally kicked that uh that black mage, just guys. But honestly, can still make it, and honestly pr would probably be a bit more beneficial on EXP spread with uh with a character downed. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
No, this isn't the end. This is just the beginning, John. And I so... Know. What, what, so it's, oh, it's one of those games you play it like 20 minutes and oh, let's introduce you to what the game, what the game is. Yeah, okay. yeah you, you gotta narrate it. And so their quest be. Thank you, James Earl Jones. And so, as the four warriors of light, they felt <laughs> overwhelmed by the great task destiny had placed before them. They did not even know the true significance of the four crystals they held in their hand. I'm so intrigued. The crystals that once long ago held a light that shone so brilliantly. Mommy, what does that mean? It means that the time for their journey has come. <laughs> the time to cast off the veil of darkness and bring the world once more into the light. My son, this is the final fantasy. God help us. <laughs> You know, I was just waiting for some in some way to integrate sand into some part of that. I was really waiting for it. I, I've, I've long since deserted that meme, okay? Oh, no. You stuck with that with another 20 minutes, whatever. <laughs> Chat, don't let us down. Or don't let me down, anyway. Oh, my. The, 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 uh, the sandness. <laughs> the tankiness of the warriors, though. Is is so great, and uh, oh, let's also uh, mention not the uh, not the MP. It's a little bit too low, but Garland is down for Sky, and now the dash to Pravoka ensues. Alright, going for to Bravoca. Getting that loot. Four crazy horses! That's a lot of crazy horses. That is. And was she trying to run? I love their little little running animations in this <laughs> one. <laughs> Like the Hannah Barber cartoon. Oh, my yes, yes, yes. All right, it's time for Bravoka. Kill Holem. Oh my goodness, why are there so many? Th that's the crew, John. It's the mob. How can nine versus four be a fair fight? Oh, well, let's see. Oh, we got some protection. Look at that! Such a tank! Blink raising the evasiveness. White Mage can get pretty stacked up there. And it's really nice to bring that, to bring, uh, you know, double white magic abilities, you know? So we got we got the we got the buffs in. A pirate is down. Ow! She got hands with that hammer. Mm, ba, ba, ah, the, 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 the game the Game Boy Advance arrangement of this song is so good. This and, and the Fall Fantasy 2 normal battle theme, so good. Ooh, yeah, very nice double hit there. From nine to six. Really nice putting on that protection buff. From six to five. Oh, and that crit from five to four. These warriors just know how to handle business. 
And there you go. That was easy. Thank and that is going to be time. Mm -mm -mm. You get the boat, and that is a completion. Sky was just a little bit, little bit behind. Could have caught up as well. That was extremely close through and through. Really loved their team comps as well. We get that ship and we sail on out of here. Sabera Messia is crowned the super boss of the night. Let's get a hand, a round of applause for both of our competitors because that was extremely down to the wire, especially at the end there. Yeah, this was this was a fantastic match. Force game seven. Who doesn't like it any better than that? Taking it down to the wire. And uh these ladies, fantastic. Fantastic performance tonight from both of them. Yeah. Oh good. We gotta talk got to them. Of course. Absolutely. I want I want thoughts. I want opinions. Yeah, we gotta figure out this deal about these tacos too. Don't think I didn't forget. Well, and also what kind of fried chicken? Hopefully not raw. Raw fried chicken? <laughs> I think it's a little bit on the rare side. <laughs> you know, not too crispy. All right, uh, let's get let's get Sabera and Sky Bills in here. because Sabera and Sky Bills, they are now joining us live in the studio. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. Uh, what a fantastic set between you two. Literally coming down to the wire at the end of every round was extremely pivotal to the end. And all in all, Sabera has had pulled away as the super boss. However, the numbers definitely did not tell the story here, especially with how close things got in round one. Uh, I want to I want to take a look at well, not take a look. We don't have like an instant replay here, but I want to recount um, Kirby's Dreamland because we got to see a little bit of a completion and we got to see a little bit of back and forth between uh, between you two girls and the in the DDD fights. It's not really all that much of a, a, a static fight. You know, there's a lot of, there's kind of like a lot to react to. Um, so how did y'all feel about, you know, heading into that? And what were your, what were your thoughts about the game? Uh, Sky, I'll talk with you first. About which game? You're talking about the Kirby? Yeah, Kirby's Dreamland. Um, I had actually speed run Kirby Superstar, which was oh. a variant of that back in the day. Unfortunately, um, there were so many rooms in Kirby's Dreamland that it turned into a maze. And with how close it was, I mean, I get lost in one less room and that's it. So uh, mm -hmm. that's how close it came for that one. And I really enjoyed it. It was a good game. Nice uh, short game. Uh, definitely would recommend it for a speed run, I'm sure. Yeah, so, and Samara, can we get your thoughts? Like, yeah, it's not, it's not really as a... Uh... You know, as cut and dry, especially with uh, you know, the lack of copy abilities. Like this is like the very like first one. So, uh, Sabera, how did you feel? You know, platforming through that. Did you have any problems with the uh, the puffiness of our of our friend Kirby, or uh, how did you feel about that? Yeah. Um. So I I played Kirby's Dreamland a lot when I was a kid, but I had forgotten that there is no dash in the original game. Um. And so everything was a lot a lot floatier and a lot more punishing than I expected to. I found myself kind of like running back for health at every opportunity. Um, that we got to the, to like the last stage and I like felt very good going into the DDD fight. And then I felt very not good <laughs> about how that fight went. Mm -hmm. uh, that was like, um, just, I had completely forgotten how it worked. Um, I didn't remember how to take stars off the hammer. Um, I just, he just <laughs> walloped me twice. And at, at the end, I like, I had two hits left on him and I, I go to Sky, how much health does he have left for you? And she was like one. And I was like, Oh my God, you've got this. And, <laughs> like down to the wire. I was just like, all right, I got to try to like, <laughs> it was a, that, that was probably the most fun, like that, like tense moment at the end for sure. Oh, we, we were just calling it like back and forth like it's still yes. undisputed champion when he got that aerial <laughs> snipe on savannah I'm like oh, oh. ddd was, was such a jerk 
He was. In the, in the first game, he was, I think, the jerkiest he's ever been. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, yeah, as opposed to you know getting used to a, a, a an action platform where we had a couple of uh, some uh, other genres sprinkled in there, uh, like Pokemon, Pokemon the RPG, uh, Sky. Now I know uh, you did a, you do a lot of uh, you know Pokemon and Pokemon and Jason stuff, doing a lot of Stadium Rando and all that. Uh, how did you feel coming into uh, this with uh, Leaf Green, and especially with this being a Rando variant? The minute I saw Flygon have Protect and Toxic, um, and we saw I saw all the unlimited items, I'm like, I don't care what level these Pokemon are. They're all going down. I know how to Toxic and uh, Protect into them, and I know how to rotate moves. I actually played a lot of Pokemon Randomizer, uh, did Pokemon uh, Stadium 1 and 2 Rental Rando as well, mm-hmm. and um, just... I, I never had like the moves and the types shuffled, but I figured with the items I could figure out my way through it, especially with the combo that I had in there as well. So pretty confident throughout the whole Pokemon sequence for sure. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah definitely with that, just like waiting it out with uh, with that toxic and protect rotation really. Um, I honestly had to give it up to Flygon. I had to, had to include that Pokemon in there because why not? You know, like it's such a, such a really uh, strong force especially in Gen 3 and, well, Frozen Flygon, we definitely uh, love and adore her here. Of course. Um, so, Benna, have you played any of this, uh, any Pokemon Rando before? Like, I've I know never you're... played any Pokemon Rando. I've played a few Pokemon games casually and, and not hmm. recently. Um, I... How, how did yeah. you how did you feel about like adjusting to like the like the randomized I was gonna say elements the randomized like typing and all that like oh uh, I I mean it, to me it wasn't that much different from adjusting to standard typing because mm. I don't know the typing that well um, and I don't know what type any of the Pokemon were uh, originally so like I wasn't I wasn't thrown off by that uh, I was just uh, repeatedly hypnotized by Gardevoir which like <laughs> fair. <laughs> Gardevoir is very hypnotizing. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was kind of a like like na- kindergarten nap time with your team over there for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, honestly, um, I just big big props to Sky for telling me how to get out of that trap <laughs> <laughs> because I would not have figured it out. I, I really wouldn't have. I would have been sitting there bashing my head against Gardevoir the entire rest of the night. Like the and... challenge would have ended. I would have been like hypnotized, <laughs> hypnotized, hypnotized. <laughs> And this is why we have sleep claws in competitive. <laughs> so, uh... Yes. Yes. Please. <laughs> uh, John, you want to chime in? <laughs> what were some of your favorite games to marvel at uh, to see these two fearsome competitors play through here? Um, Sand. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> Look, I don't you two were aware of what we were saying and what was going on in chat during that entire Sonic and Sonic 3 and Knuckles block, but if you did not see it, you need to go back and watch that and listen to us and of course our amazing our, our, our amazing chat for all of the lovely puns and bad <laughs> bad bad world locations they gave us throughout that run. Um I, uh, I, I, I hope you I hope you folks uh, went through uh, Sandusky, Ohio, uh, pretty pretty swimmingly there. Because I mean, you know. I've, I've actually been to Sandusky, Ohio. Uh, yep. Yeah. So yeah. same. Yeah. There's there's an amusement park there. That's like sure yeah. is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was just got kind of awkward because you know you know what I'm talking about. Huh? Yeah. There's no sand there in Sandusky, Ohio. Glad you got out. <laughs> what up? I don't know. I tried to I tried to read chat while while all of that sand stuff was going on, but uh, I don't know. The feed was a little grainy. So, by the way, have you seen our current logo? <laughs> I don't know. Have you seen it, Bobby? I, 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 I just look. noticed it. <laughs> the sandy boss. Oh my oh, goodness, Lord. y'all! Our show oh. has been taken over by May May, but. <laughs> That watching you all, it, th- th- that was a joy. Obviously, I-, I love that game. I've run that game, and seeing you all just getting through flying battery. I mean, we had we had Sky on that bottom area, falling in the bottom of the spit, 
several times. Meanwhile, Sabera, Sabera, you were keep going on the spending things on the top of the level. Like, you know, I was like, when is she going to go down to the bottom had, part of that map? I did not know how to get there. I because did not you know see, that that wall was. <laughs> yeah. You just see a solid wall, so you think, okay, I can't go that way, but it's actually a fake wall. Just, oh, the rest yeah. of the level's there, and it's like... Sky told me. Oh, Sky. <laughs> want you to get stuck? That's no fun. Oh, well, they're yeah, helping no her. <laughs> we got a one t- a, a competitive co-op where it's just one co-op team against nobody here. <laughs> no, no, it's sportsmanship. Oh, That's is right. that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> So next time you all run the 100-meter dash, you're just going to wait for someone else to catch up and then you all tie. Is that how it goes? Yeah. No, but we'll tell them how to pick up their feet. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I, I love that spirit. I really do. Oh, my goodness. But that was – how How did you all feel about that? How did you all feel about Sonic 3 and Knuckles? Like, what do y'all know about Sonic games in general in 2D? I played Sonic like... 1 and 2 a lot when I was a kid, but oh, – I ahead. played – Sonic 1 and 2 sparingly. The Sonic game I actually played the most of was Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which is very different from very. that. Um, I, I felt like I broke the game. I kept falling through the platform and flying battery too, and I'm like, what is this? And then I found out there was another way to go, and I'm like, oh, that makes more sense to me. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. Everyone falls victim to Sonic 3 at some point. Yeah, I... Yeah. I I wanted to get, I, I'm actually interested in getting into Sonic Speedrunning, and I had Sonic 3 Air uh, recommended to me. So oh, yeah. uh, this was a good experience for me uh, to kind of cut my teeth a little bit. More like crack my teeth, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was that was really good for me. And, of course, some Zelda watching. I'll skip over Ninja Gaiden right now, but uh, Link's Awakening. I mean, that was so close to actually both of you all. I don't, how much do you all know about, about that game? I mean, I know Sky, you know, Zero. does she knows her Zelda one, but her Zelda was literally two two rooms behind. Like that was that was so like it was still really close. Yes, it really was. It, w- it was a great watch. So I was just curious how much you all know about that that game, if, if at all, anything. Uh, I I've uh, looked into the speed run for uh, LADX. Um, so I knew my way around Tail Cave. I just got myself killed a couple of times needlessly. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You get when you get only three hearts, like it, it could be pretty punishing if you're a little bit reckless. Yeah, and reckless is sort of my middle name. Mm. <laughs> it's not actually my middle name, but Well, nope, it's out there in the world now. No, nope, all right there. <laughs> Sabera reckless. I can't say reckless. Reckless. Uh, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on wow. it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> How do you say reckless in Spanish? I actually do not know right off the top of my head. Huh. How do you say sand in Spanish? He's <laughs> 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 the word you really need to know. I used to know that one, actually. I don't remember anymore, but. Oh, God. Oh. Uh... So what oh, were we wait, ta- wait. So, so no, we, we were we were literally talking about um uh some of his thoughts about about uh about Link's Awakening and uh learning the speed run and all that. Oh yeah. Uh, um so I watched uh I've watched a lot of um uh TGH runs that game a lot mm. and also Link Awa- Link's Awakening Switch and also the original Link's Awakening. And every time I watch these speed runs, I'm like, oh my god, that looks like so much fun. Um and then so something is, else. Is this the first time that you've actually like had your hands on it? Like you, you were just like so into watching it that you just kind of like mentally I mean, mapped the, it out? I've played the game before. Um but like oh. I I yeah it's, uh, like I had I had the original Link's Awakening on the original Game Boy. I had LADX on Game Boy Color. Um, I had Link's Awakening Switch. So I've played all of the different like variants of the game uh, before, but only casually. I've never speed run it. I, I, like, I, I haven't picked it up and speed run it, but like, I remember the layout of at least the first dungeon. So, um, did, I, did either of you know of any layout in our Sailor Moon Brawler game? No. No. I've seen Air Angel play that once. I was really excited to get a chance to play it because I saw Air Angel play it and I was like, yes, this beat em up game. game. <laughs> it's super cute. 
Yeah, and uh, and uh, did y'all just go with your fate, like with, with with your gut war with your favorite sailor scout? Like, like what were the what was the decision behind you know Jupiter and Usagi, uh, respectively? Uh, Jupiter, um, I love her because um, she feels she's like tall and feels like people don't see her as girly enough, even though she's like really into girly things, um, which is a feeling I relate to super hard. Um, so she's like my favorite, favorite period. I just picked a random character. I'm just like, all right, let's just go. I knew nothing about the game. I maybe watched the anime once. I just, I only knew how to play other beat-em-ups. Um, I tried to speedrun Knights of the Round a while back. I, sp I also did speedruns of Power Rangers the movie, so it was a little bit like that, Ooh. but a little different. Yeah, so, so you kind of had your, uh, you know, uh, you know, feet wet with like these sort of like, you know, brawler beat-em-ups and all that stuff. Knights of the Round is, really, is a really good game, by the way. Should probably include that in the Super Boss Brothers. Yeah, I just didn't know how many continues I had. So I was being like really aggressive because it was a race and I didn't realize I was going to run out of continues because there was nothing indicating that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was rough. <clears throat> how many continues do you get in that game anyway? What, was it was it three, Tuck? I think it was, yeah. Yeah, I I I think I think it was three. I I I think. Yeah, yeah, because it, it it took a long time to like filter through those uh, filter through those lives, especially through like the like yeah. the bosses, and, and and like honestly, with as far as uh, Sky made it, it was like literally like toward the end, like anyway, like and it was oh, still geez. like super close. Like there there were there were more than a couple of moments in in that run where you were a bit in sync. And and like and again, like numbers do not tell the story here. Like it was extremely uh, neck and neck through most of these games. Yeah, we were right next to each other in that one for sure. Mm -hmm. And we come to Ninja Gaiden. Hmm. So, so yeah. I, I I was I was saying that when when I was playing through this game, it literally took me in like an hour to get through stage two. We drop we dropped y'all off in stage three, um, and 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 like what 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 were eventual thoughts? Uh, Sky, was this your first time with Ninja Gaiden? Like like play, never play touched it? a single Ninja Gaiden game in the entire series, and really? I had maybe watched Ninja Gaiden two once. Yeah, I was more of a Castlevania person. Mm. So I had no clue how to play. I had no clue what the stage layouts were. I was impressed I just made it through 3-1, given some of the hard platforming. But to kind of coordinate all of the attacks and jumping while attacking together, like that would have taken me a while. I primarily mm. learned games and speedruns through hours of trial and error. So mm. it didn't surprise me that 3-2 was as far as I could get. Yeah, like like uh, if, you, if you stay in one place for a, a prolonged amount of time like things can just like endlessly spawn things can swarm in on you like it's really hard to even like attack any of those like birds that swoop in on you because the sword hitbox is so high when it's standing and like the bird when it swoops it kind of like it really threads the needle on that hitbox there and uh and and, and Savera, with with the way that you played you obviously had some uh, experience with it uh, you know, learning through this, uh, you know, sort of like trial and error that Sky was talking about. How long did it really take for you to get comfortable into, into like, you know, getting down into speedrun form? Uh, gosh. Um, so I learned, I picked up Ninja Gaiden for uh, Big 20 number 13. Um, and so it was the final game in Big 20 and you had to clear the entire game. Um, and... So we had like a month to learn 20 games. Mm -hmm. um, and I probably gave Ninja Gaiden, I want to say like uh, about a week of dedicated time to kind of get it into like vaguely speedrunning form. And then I ran it for probably another like three or four weeks after that mm -hmm. um, to get to a, um, uh, to get to a, uh, shoot, what did I, uh, to get to get sub 14 um so i got like 1354 and stopped um and so that was that was yeah probably like a dedicated month of of learning to ninja gaiden um 
Did did you find it a bit difficult to like juggle nineteen other game objectives alongside that? Like, oh yeah, um, I definitely like prioritized the things that I thought would be showstoppers. Though, like one of the ones for that one was defeat Mike Tyson in Mike Tyson's Punch Out. You didn't have to do any of the rest of the game, but you had to beat Mike Tyson. Um, mm. And I don't know if anybody has played Mike Tyson's Punch Out before and and fought mike tyson it's a terrible fight it's just really bad um so like that one took me a long time um ninja gaiden of course was was a big one um because like the first time i like i picked up ninja gaiden to kind of like play through it casually at the very beginning and it took me over an hour to get most of the way through the game i didn't even complete it so um there was a, a metroid challenge that was in there metroid is a really hard game um mad respect to metroid speedrunners um yeah uh, so it was mm. and like a whole bunch of stuff that i'd never seen before like um little samson love that game never even heard of it oh thank um, you both chip and dale games were in there i had never played those yeah so it was like it was a lot of like learning and like trying to like weave between learning speed strats and not trying to pick up things that were too hard for the amount of time that i had to learn them um <laughs> So, yeah. That's good. Uh, Sky, I have one question that's been uh, in the back of my mind this entire night. I wonder sure. if you can help me out with that. Yeah. Um, what are your favorite toppings on tacos? Now, now you, you put on your favorite food, <laughs> tacos, and we, 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 John and I had a little bit of a back and forth of, you know, like, like basically, you know, what is a, an optimal taco? What, what, what is your favorite type of taco? What kind of taco would be the top tier taco for you? Um, cheese, sour cream, and hot sauce. Heck yeah. But yeah, wait, just what, shredded what cheese. Meat? What meat? What shell? Um, <laughs> I could do... No. Well, I could do ground beef. Every now and then I do like ground beef, but sometimes I like, you know, like, they make, like, veggie burgers that are, like, done in ground beef. That's also really good. So either of the two, depending on if I'm in more of a vegetarian-esque mood or more in a, in a carnivore mood. Mm. Yeah, so either of the two are good. Okay. Wait, wait. Yeah. Do you do you prefer a soft shell or a crunchy shell? Oh, definitely soft shell. Oh, did I say the wrong one, Big John? I don't know. I, 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 I don't really have a purpose. Purpose. I was just curious. I just want to start drama. That's all. Oh, God. Oh, how, John, how about both? How about you have like the soft taco and then the crunchy taco, like That's inside some taco bell shenanigans right there. And it, the, the, <laughs> that, that actually really is. You put the cheese on the outside between the soft yeah. taco and the hard taco. Oh, well, wow, which one goes on the outside? Soft inside a crunchy or crunchy inside a soft? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> If you really want to start drama, though, is a taco a sandwich? Now, see, you just okay, had to no. go there. See, yeah, we, right. we need to no. end the show now. Yeah, no, this Sia has been here by uh, strip uh, of her secret boss brother's title. <laughs> oh. I'm Just sorry to whoever we just made now. hungry. Oh, my gosh. I'm hungry now. Thank and you. Everybody <laughs> is hungry. So, hey, listen, it has been such a fantastic uh, seven-game stretch. I super appreciate both of you ladies for coming out. And also, I, also, I just wanted to commend you both uh, personally on the excellent performances uh, that the both of you put on at this uh, previous Flame Fatales event. And uh, uh, again, Sabeta with Record of Lodos War, D Little One of Labyrinth, Sky Bills with that Yu Gi Oh! Forbidden Memories, and also just a veteran, really gracious host uh, in general. Um, I want to give y'all a couple of minutes to shout out your socials, tell the chat that's been watching what your future plans are, are and you know why you want why you want to befriend them you know uh sky if you want to go first sure you can find me everything is spelled the same sky bills on twitch youtube and twitter um most of my content is i play magic the gathering arena for oxg esports I also do Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories now as a speedrun. That's the first thing that got me back into speedrunning in years after being in the esports world for a little while. Oh, and 
I like myself some Let's Plays once in a while, too, and the occasional Ocarina of Time randomizer is fun. I'm also a showrunner for GDQ Hotfix, so you can find me on Random Number Generation and Mercy Kill. Sound familiar? Randomizers and Rusty Speedruns? Yeah, that's kind of my department personally, too, as well. So uh, that's every other Tuesday and Wednesday. And while I'm also talking, thank you so much to Big John and Bobby for having me slash us. Uh, it's been such a such a great time and Sabera Super Boss. Let's see uh what do you got for us? Uh everyone, uh you can find me at Sabera Messia at uh Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter. Just uh just like Skyville's so I'll spell it exactly the same as you see on screen right here. Um I primarily do speedruns, uh, mostly of 2D platformers and almost exclusively metroidvanias um with like the odd exception like i was running shovel knight low percent recently um but uh i lately been learning super metroid uh metroid zero mission i'm really really hyped for metroid dread um i also play the axiom verge series so axiom verge axiom verge 2 um you know, if you're into that sort of thing, you should absolutely come by. I do also do randomizer content to prevent myself from getting too salty. Um, mostly Super Metroid and Link to the Past randomizers and sometimes the combo randomizer because I don't like myself. No, wait, that's not right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but seriously, uh, if you if you like Metroid and Metroid like games, come on by and say hi because uh, because uh, we got that in spades. Wait, that's a shovel pun. I screwed it up. Anyway, um, yes, uh, Severa Messia, everywhere, everywhere you look for me. That's that's pretty much it. Got it, got it. And there, there you have it. Be sure to follow these two women on their respective social media channels. Big John, do you have anything uh, coming up this anytime soon? I've got no, sand no. on my brain right now. I just got sand. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, huh? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, all I can tell y'all is make sure you all catch our next show two weeks from now. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got more than one show this month. Yay! So, hey, you got, yeah. So we'll see you all in a couple of weeks here. And, and for uh, those who want to uh, tune into more Hotfix content, we'll see you tomorrow for That's Never Happened Before, 7 p.m. Eastern. Yes, yes, yes. But, uh, uh, oh, I can't wait. But thank you, ladies. You all have been awesome. I, uh, this has been definitely one of our really good shows here. It's been a blast. And I think the chat had a blast, too. So make sure you follow them both. A sandblast. Sandblast time. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Was was the <laughs> second half of the show nothing but sand it, puns after it, Sonic? It pretty much yeah. yeah Sorry. When Sonic oh, hit, uh, it, it was completely <laughs> downhill. Yeah, yeah. We, we peaked at Kirby, then the Sonic hit. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, thank we, you, we, we, thank we, you we both so much for having us. Oh, yes, thank of you. Of course, ladies. Thank you for thank you for joining in on Sand Ocean Week here at GDQ Hot <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. We gotta say goodnight for now, but be sure to stick around because after this short break, we are gonna be giving that old GDQ Hot Fix raid to somebody. So make sure to spread on those good vibes because we really do want to, you know, uh, end the night with those good vibes. Thank you all very much for tuning in to this episode of Super Boss Brothers. We will be seeing you soon. Take care and good night.